It's all new with less carbs and more negativity. Get it out. Get it out of me. Get ready for Nobody Likes Onions. Everybody, hi, welcome to a program. Is my seat low? Guten Tag, hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so much to talk about today. Uh, We are on volume six of Steel Toe Morning Shows Steel Toe Shine Box series. I have not done a regular podcast for my normal listeners that doesn't deal with steel toe nor put anything out on my podcast feed in a week. I'm neglecting a business because of this insane um, tropical storm that was forced upon me, I'll say. And now, you know, worlds are colliding Hello, thanks for subbing. You know, worlds are colliding. People are coming out of the woodwork. Um, And when you start telling the truth, people start getting upset. And alliances are formed. Um, Teams are picked. Shirts versus skins. I'm definitely shirts over here. And, um, you know... As a consequence, my personal relationships are suffering. My wife is threatening to leave. My children aren't allowed near me. Patrick, you're obsessed with steel toe. Patrick, you need to see someone. Patrick, get a guidance counselor. And I remind people I'm not in school. And then they say, just see a therapist. And I say, I don't have insurance or money. And then they say, what's your iCloud password? And I say, wait a minute, what website is this? <laughs> um, chat checks, how's it going? Everybody's uh, here for the new info. And boy, do I have some exclusive. No one has what I have tonight. I cultivate a an air, if you will, of, of people willing to share information. And while I only consider myself a dabbler of dabblers, the dabblers have reached out to me. They're embracing me. They're sending me secrets. And boy, oh boy, I have some leaked screenshots from PMs uh, from uh, our boy Aaron M. Holt tonight. We shall be taking a peek at him and getting some new info. Um, Steel Toe is going hard after wrestling Otaku. That's old news. Um, I like Patrick. Watched a video for for involved just by that. Okay, learn English and then you can come back in my chat room. Grow up and turn into merch. Um, I should be asleep. Damn you, Mountain. Are you sure it was stood and not... Okay, this is all weird. Is the showgram about hashtag Vegas comedy? Maybe, I don't know. Steel Toe messed with the wrong mentally unstable podcast. Yeah, I got a lot to address today. I've been called mentally unstable now. Um, how about a Johnny B reunion show? Maybe one day. NLO brings people together in the worst and best ways. 
Um, this is where the mentally unstable people are. Okay, I think it's just normal idiots. All hail the melt. This is unhealthy. Don't do this. Enjoy it in a healthy, comfortable manner. I'm not to be worshipped. I'm not to be... You guys get get so aligned with, like, your guy, and it's... You'll turn into Aaron Emholt. Look how he is. He wanted to be Anthony so, so badly. He flew so close to the sun, he got burned, and now he's screaming, uh, victim. You have no friends, Melton. That's rude. Whites versus Blacks, great band name. The critics are getting critiqued. They don't like it. Yeah, I mean, everybody gets a turn. It's the internet. You think you're not going to be talked about on the internet? And then you just get mad when, uh, you know, tomorrow you got to correct the record with Chad. Aaron didn't cheat on his wife. Um, how do we know that? How, how does anybody know that? I have some messages from Aaron tonight we're going to go over. They don't exactly clear that point up, but they do give us a lot more information. Um, I have a scandal that I think could bring Steel Toe down. Could completely the show gone, the company gone, the YouTube channel gone, all of it. And it has to do with their prize, prize night. night. Like it or not, they are involved in a fraud among frauds. Like it or not, they are involved in a federal crime. Drink up, everybody. I am on that Kirkland vodka. I'm on Sky Vodka, actually. Oh! Because mm. I'm out of whiskey, but that's pretty smooth. Um, Still not a Vegas show. I'll be back. Look. I'll have a regular show up tomorrow that we did last week that we managed to eke in right before all the Aaron M. Holt stuff busted loose. But you know this show, when Ty Rivera was on it, we were doing shows covering it. And now Aaron M. Holt has exploded. This whole past week has been like the initial start of the avalanche of the downfall of the tumbling of Steel Toe Radio of Aaron M. Holt, and the whole rolled steel morning heel empire. You know, this whole thing comes down with the the sunshine light of day, with the, with the antibacterial rays of truth. And that's what we're headed for today. Um, tomorrow you got to correct the record with chat. Yeah, I just don't know. I, I, oh, fuck. What did I just do? Yeah, I don't know if that's true. How do we know he didn't cheat on his wife? How could anyone know that? Message deleted by nobody. I didn't mean to delete that message. So I apologize. Um, Sup, Patrick? Learn to take a compliment, retard. No, 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 because it gets unhealthy, especially these people. You know, internet, like, you know, involuntary, involuntary celibate dudes like yourselves, bunch of fucking fat nerds covering Doritos dust. You form unhealthy bonds with men on screens, and you, you shouldn't. You get obsessed. You should go outside. You know, even myself, who's ensconced in research and people messaging me all day and uh, responding to comments, I have to find time to go outside, walk around, get some of that vitamin D. I got in my hot tub today. Just relax a little bit. You know, you got to find small moments of reprieve or else you'll go nuts with this kind of stuff. I imagine this is what happened to Zumok. He probably just spun out in his his little kitchenette. <laughs> I'll be on uh, Sit Down Zumok tomorrow um, with Chad Zumok. What a turn of events. Um, I like, I like Chad boy. And especially when he's winning, God, is he, is he a lighthearted, funny guy? 
All the insecurities melt away. It's great. Meanwhile, over in Steel Toe, Aaron Town, it's you can tell every bit of this show is worried, heightened. They got 19 mods in the chat. They are eyeball. You know, he says he doesn't read chat. These two are glazed, glued to the screen. You can tell. They're reading every line of the chat. They're obsessed with it. A guy today tried to, a guy today, that Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit guy gave, gave him 10 bucks, idiot, and uh, <laughs> and put up like, uh, check out Fox Point Publishing's, what I, you know, Ashley LaRue's book, Aaron's ex-wife, and he got banned for donating $10. Um... More than 19, they modded up after last Friday. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Um, if someone's dis disrupting your show or flooding your chat or whatever, that's one thing. But it's like you can't stop truth. And the minute you stop, you start fighting truth and trying so much spin, you look insane. And you may try to bury me. You may try to discount me, and you may even call for help, which I think they're doing. Everybody get out your red bar-shaped Batman light, and hopefully Mike David will come save you. Get real. <laughs> you guys are all not, This is what, what happens when you follow these internet men. I don't want anyone saying to me, Patrick Melton buried Steel Toe. I didn't bury anybody. I'm just talking about things. Get your head screwed on straight. None of this is tough. None of this is hard. What Chad's doing to Aaron is baby shark bullshit. It's nothing. It's nothing. This guy doesn't like it. He's got something in his head that it irks him. I don't buy the bullshit lawsuit stuff one bit. This is in his head. We, I mean, look, you guys can all have your, your speculation and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I had a theory that, that this was going to tear April and Aaron apart. I've got to be honest. Their prize show last night, it looked like they were happy. It looked like they weren't fighting. It didn't seem awkward at all. Now, Friday's show was awkward as fuck. It seemed like she wanted to leave him and never return. So I don't know if they had a big fight, and then he canoed her out. I don't know what ha I don't know what happened. But I'm just giving you my honest opinion. They seem to be getting along, and it seemed genuine, and there was no awkwardness or weird stuff last night. Other than the fact that they're performing highway robbery right in front of people's eyes. We've got to get into this prize show. <laughs> we, we're going to get into this prize show tonight. Holy shit. Holy shit. And what we've got now is Aaron M. Holt, saying Melton's mentally ill. I don't want to get mixed up with nobody likes onions. They're just trying to coat ride us anyway and trying to make something of their show. I don't, you know, I saw somebody say something about me like, oh, the bad thing about Melton is he just talks about how, how long he's been doing this. It's like I have to bring it up every once in a while because I got Aaron M. Holt telling me you're just trying to ride our coattails and get a name for yourself. It's like, honey, I have been doing this longer than you shall ever do it. I have made more money doing this than you shall ever make doing it. I've been making, all you guys are running around like they ripped off Who Are These Podcasts. They ripped off Jocktober. I was making fun of other podcasts on podcasts since 2005. Okay? That's the only reason I bring it up. You guys are all arguing about who stole from who in 2014. That's nuts to me because I'm like, you're all new. <laughs> so that's the only reason I bring it up. Again, don't form an unhealthy attraction to this show. Don't form an unhealthy relationship with me. I'm just an internet man and pretty mentally ill. I agree. So, you know, the only reason I bring it up is experience. I, I have been doing this. I have been being shit on. I have been getting death threats. By the way, one of Aaron M. Holt's Fans has been messaging me telling me he wants to come to Vegas and kick my ass. These who's the unstable people? Who are the unstable ones? I don't think about this at all when I lay my head on the pillow at night. 
I'm never going to meet Aaron M. Holt. This isn't real. <laughs> like, everyone recalibrate a little bit. We got to get dialed in. Uh, hold on, let me just uh, go through this. Oh, more grifting. Yeah, please, by the way, you know, we are looking for you to hit the like button. We got to reach our goal tonight. Hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, hit the thumbs down, uh, back. Hit the back button on your browser. Uh, selling sponsorship. Yeah, we're going to get to it all. We're going to get to it all. Um, I can only imagine... Um, would any of this had come out if he hadn't sent that text to Bob Levy? This is the thing. I'd like to start at the very beginning tonight before we get into it because, um, oh, hold on one second. What's going on? God, there's some long messages here. Hold on. Da, 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 da. They used to let trolls go wild and even interact with them. Now they're deadly serious and some blocking. Troll me away. I don't care. Troll up my chat all you want. I'm not afraid of someone on the internet saying something. It doesn't make it true. It doesn't hurt. Like, again, are you all new to the net? It's 2023. I mean, anybody who was a member of a forum in 2003 understands internet bullying. <laughs> My own chat is calling me fat. Two mods have gone AWOL and feeding info to Chad Toe. Little Empire is crumbling. That's just sad. I can understand three to five mods on a channel based on availability. I think we have three, and they're never here. So I don't care. You, um, Earl Skakel's here. Earl will be on uh, sit-down Zoomock would be tomorrow. FYI, anyone can make unlimited YouTube accounts uh, and name them Steel Toe Boring Show. Okay. Um, today he made passive aggressive comments throughout. It's eating away. He talks about, um, you know, like he's going to ignore this stuff. It's like you do nothing but talk about it. You can't let it go. You do one fun segment about, uh, April's magic bean coffee. And then you'll move immediately back to, we don't need to mess with those guys. We do a fun show. We do a real show over here. It's like, okay, this guy, I, I will say this. You know, Aaron, you you are a hundred percent stuck in the past. Again, I'll never deny you, you, you have talent. You put on a good show when you're not in your own way. You are completely in your own way. You're in your own head. Um, but I'll never deny you, you, you have the ta you're a broadcaster. But you think it's 2007, bro? I've never seen a bigger case of it. He talks about people trying to amplify their signal. He uses radio lingo all the fucking time. It's like, bro, you're not on radio anymore. He says it all the time. I think we're the only ones on radio who still do a fun show. It's like, you're not on radio. He's, he mumbles under his breath constantly. People just don't understand radio. It's like, you're telling Opie Hughes he doesn't understand radio. He's been doing it since he was 18, did you know? So these are banana ramarai statements, okay? I don't know if they make you feel better. I don't know if you and April, you know, get together after the show and just self-soothe, hug each other with cope. But who are you fooling? Uh, I understand that you have a, a contingent of your chat room that are local yokel fucking idiots who followed you over from terrestrial radio in Minnesota. And I don't mean idiots in a bad way. I just mean they're fucking from Minnesota and listen to radio. They're walking anachronisms. Anyone who tunes into radio is by definition out of it. You know, unless it's an emergency scenario and you're trying to find out where we're gathering to get away from the undead. That's when I'll be tuning in a radio. And then I'll have to look around to even find one. Is there one in my car? I've never checked. At least with satellite radio, you can pretend you're talking to someone. I mean, you're in the woods in Minneapolis, St. Cloud, with a metal rod up in the sky. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Honey, it's over. That shit's over. All the radio rules, all your bullshit, you're resetting. You know, you don't even do that well. 
Like you're a consummate broadcaster, but you're not, you're not even, I don't know what you're trying to do, bro. You have no right to shit on me. There's no part of anything that you do that's better than something I do. I don't care about your numbers. And by the way, when your numbers go tumbling, I don't want to hear you lay off the number talk, okay? I want you to really shit on yourself with the numbers. I've seen it all. We used to have 100,000 downloads of every podcast I did. I've ridden the goddamn wave. Your whole thing seems to be picking fights with people who have done what you're trying to do now. Opie. Anthony, me, you've had your tussles with every other fucking podcast from what I can tell. And all those people have done shit you're trying to do now. Like it or not, my podcast was bigger than yours shall ever be, Steel Goo. <laughs> like, so I don't, I'm not worried about the YouTube world. I'm in a race with myself over here. I don't have goals. I'm not trying to make 500 a show to live on because I've made a promise to a blonde. <laughs> oh, man. Like, it's it's rough. It's rough over there what's going on in your head, what you're trying to convince yourself you're doing. Steel Toe Boring Show, you're doing the Lord's work. Patty is the OG. Show your respect. Come on. I don't need respect. I just need you to be realistic about shit. Um, was Zen Rhino threatening you today? I don't know who Zen Rhino is. I don't pay attention to internet. If you don't have a look, I'm never going to pay attention to J Dub Productions telling me what Zen Rhino did. That sounds like a fucking mad lib gone wrong. <laughs> You're not real. I'm not real. This is Chat GPT. Remember that Seinfeld thing that was going on? AI? That's me. Patrick, I understand the secret messages you've been sending to me through my neighbor's dog. My mission is understood. Oh, son of Sam over here. Someone put me in timeout, and I didn't even say anything remotely bad. Our nightbot is, if you type too much in a minute, I think it. I mean, it's it's not on language filter. So it's not like we don't let you cuss or say things here. Type Ashley. I swear to God, it's not filtered. <laughs> um. Said you're a good person, not in a sardonic way at all. Um, can I be a mod? I'm always here. Get the fuck out of here. Aaron's the kind of guy who says, go bigger when April is pegging him. Ooh. How can radio shows be dead when I'm listening to NLO right now on the old crystal set? I don't know who put me in timeout before, but if you could just tell me why I'm genuinely confused. I think I accidentally clicked your I I like my mouse did it. Citizen M. That's what I'm saying. I, I said I didn't mean to delete that message. As long as you're fine now, we're good. How close are you to reaching today's goal? We're not. You know, people don't fucking donate to this show. <laughs> Maybe I should beg more. This guy, he, like $500 goals. If my YouTube show made $500, I'd probably masturbate live on camp. That's insane. We do have our own own uh, bonus jizz club called the Overdose. <laughs> oh, you stole that from the Overtime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stole it. Um, if there's one thing about Aaron, nothing about him's genuine. He's a he's a mishmash of a million broadcasters he's he's watched throughout the years. You know how I know I'm unique? You all come in here and go, "Fucking hurry! This is awful." Yes. Nailing it. <laughs> um, and you know what? Watch it later. 2X me. I would. T I was talking to a guy today. Like, I'd 2X me. I wouldn't watch this on regular speed. Jesus Christ. This is me winding down my day. You can't watch a man wind down his day on regular speed. Get real. Uh, we are going to go members only at some point during this show later on, but it'll be in a couple hours, so don't worry about it. And also, our membership is one ninety nine here on the channel. You'd be poor not to join. Um, your goals don't always have to be financial, Patrick. That's a great point. I just like to self-actualize by the end of the show today. We're 300 away from today's goal, folks. Let's see if we can get it under the next hour. He always says things, too, like, uh, are we going to reach 200 likes today? Wouldn't that be fun? It's like, why would it be fun for us, for you to reach 200 likes? 
Why are you constantly yelling at us about our goal? What do we get? Oh, well, monthly, Patrick, you get an involvement in the prize show. So four days a week, a morning show and a night show, these guys want $700. That's $2,800 a week. Multiplied out, what's that? Three, 12, that's 10,000 with a 12 on top, so it's 11,2. 11,200 a month they're making just off just off uh shows and goals. And you know they go over. People donate more and go over. And <clears throat> they have over 300 members. That's 3,000 a month. Now we're at 14,000 a month. So these guys are making 15 grand a month. They have a sponsor that is uh Rollies, right? It's literally Ricks. We've had a running joke on this show for longer than Aaron's been a thing. Uh, that Rick, If you go to our website at the bottom, it says, Nobody Likes Onions, a division of Rick's. Rick's Rolling Smoke. Rick's Wings and Rings. It's a fake restaurant that we say owns our show. And to go down there and get crazy specials like, like Rick's Raw Chicken Flights and, and Bring Your Own Ranch Night. It's a joke. It's a running joke. He really has that. Come on down to Rolly's. Rednecks and long necks. He really, this is how local yokel minded radio this fucking guy is. His sponsor is a local bar he frequents. This is a small money, small time dipshit is what it is. So no one, no one is confused about what you are, Aaron M. Holt. You're a lost fucking guy. Who is making fifteen grand a month on his show, which is more than a lot of small YouTubers that do everything better than you, including this one. And it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's about your complete grift. Your complete grift. You lie to your listeners. You break the law. You shove other people under the rug when they're trying to tell the truth. And you surround yourself with unfunny dipshits like Corey Adam to make yourself look better when he even talks about you. We're going to watch the beginning of today's show, which he has removed from YouTube, but we have it clipped. He has removed several shows, several edits in the past three days. He's freaking the fuck out. He's editing. He's clipping. He's taking down. Oh, it's over here. Oh, we had to do this. Oh, we had to remove it. Go watch, try to watch this morning's show. The whole first hour is gone. Why? It's full of cope and lies. So I'd like to start out tonight a little bit by um, resetting and kind of just telling you and explaining again how I got into this situation. I had never heard of Steel Toe Morning Show a little over a week ago now. I don't know, eight, nine days? Literally. Ten? I see Chad Zumach, who I've worked with before, texting, fighting with this Aaron M. Holt guy. I go check it out. I see him on YouTube. I go check it out. I follow over to Aaron. Aaron is bullying Chad. Chad's blocking. Chad's reacting. Chad's freaking out. And Chad freaking out. And Chad losing it is very funny. And when Chad's running around and squirming and uncomfortable, it is very funny. I'd say this to his face. And Steel Toe's just bullying him. You're my project now. Chat email still steel toe and says, you don't want to do this. Please stop. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not having fun with this. Knock it off. You don't want to do this. And they wrote back, we do want to do it. You are our project now. Anytime you're live, we'll be there laughing at you. Good luck getting away from our wrath. And Chad said, okay. And started doing a little dicking. Now he found out about Aaron's ex-wife. He found out a rumor that, that Aaron cheated on his ex-wife while she was pregnant, ran off with April. None of this stuff, as far as I know, substantiated. I've heard the rumor a lot of different ways. I think one thing's very clear. He didn't cheat with April. 
And regardless of any of that, by the way, that's none of our fucking business. So when I waded into this situation, let's not forget, just for asking questions, Chad Zumach blocked me on all platforms, started talking shit about me, called me Kumi as cuck, and then I see Steel Toe and I go, this is fucking great. And I know Steel Toe's got some chops, so I go, hey, you know, this is funny. Then I see he's got Corey Adam on. I'm like, wow, Corey Adam, you know, I, work, I know that guy. Put him on a show back in the day. Now, I didn't know at the time that Corey Adam has several sexual assault and, and harassment allegations out of Minneapolis. Just search and you'll find a dearth of women writing blogs about Corey Adam making them uncomfortable. Um, and articles in mainstream press about it. So Corey Adam ran off to Austin to stink it up and, and uh, creep on girls down there. Now, you know. Normally, nobody would have noticed that move by Corey Adam, you know? He, it's not like we were tracking him as he moved southward like the Chinese balloon in the sky, even though he would have been easier to see. But no, all of this has just made me dig more and more because Corey Adam had to go, like, Patrick treated me like a dick. And it's like, tell the story. Tell the story then. How did I treat you like a dick? What happened to you? No, 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 no. He's just a dick. It's like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Make another blinker fluid joke, you fucking hack. Google Corey Adam. Corey Adam comedy. Sexual harassment. Corey Adam allegations. Woo. Woo. On the Steel Toe Show, you have to pay by Super Chats to enter a fucking giveaway. A giveaway, what the fuck? We're going to get into it tonight. On a level you're not prepared for. And Steel Toe's not prepared for. And I'll just say this. I'll just say this. Because it's March 1st. We're a month out. And I'll just say it. If you're not breaking the law, Aaron M. Holt, do another prize show at the end of this month. Do another prize show at the end of March. Do it. If you're not breaking the law, I better see a prize show at the end of March. I better see you taking entries for $20 for a $250 drawing. Now I know what he says. I know the loopholes. We're going to get into it. But I'm just saying it. I'm putting it out there right now at the beginning of the night so you know where we're going by the end of tonight. If you're not breaking a law, do another prize show where you give away money. Do it. Do it. Because everyone in the chat room in one of your prize shows could theoretically file a lawsuit against you for not giving them a way to enter free. We're going to get into it tonight, everybody. This guy's breaking laws. If people are going to act tough on the internet making fun of people, make sure you don't have the skeletons in your closet that'll come back to bite your ass in the end. Again, you can say whatever you want about me. His show's small. I don't think it does anything anymore. He's a weak piece of shit. All true. But I do live in my own house that I paid for with money earned by me doing things on the up and up for the most part. I sure don't have a skeleton empty, uh, a skeleton empty of closets. My skeleton has no closets. My skeleton doesn't even wear clothes. Why would he need a closet? I haven't cheated on wives. This is my first marriage. I'm loyal to her. She's ugly as fuck, but I stay. No one can say anything about me or my life that hurts me or it's going to make me stop. I'm not afraid of the net. I'm not afraid of the net. The Sandra Bullock movie from 1996. Put it on. I have it on Laserdisc. Remember movie CD? <laughs> um... This is the greatest show. Isn't the prize a VIP membership to his channel? Just wait. We're going to get into all of it. But boy, oh boy, do we have some stuff to comb through tonight. So I said, um, which one's the first one we got to watch? That's prize night. <laughs> um... 
He slipped up in his video. He doesn't even know. And I do. Aren't you excited about what we're going to find out together tonight? Oh, it's so good. Um, Fun Aaron is back to smacking Opie around and calls in NLO mentally ill. So this is from his deleted first hour of the show this morning. And the uh, Steel Toe Boring Show Reddit, of course, caught it. Let's give it a watch. You've got, uh, uh, there was another, uh, fi- oh yeah, uh, we got to smack around Opie in overtime today. Opie got a little mouthy. Is there A weird thing happened. Uh, a very strange thing happened where we caught another Jake Hudson. That's what happened with that world we left. Like, so I don't know who Jake Hudson is, but they're saying now that like they left Chad Zumach behind. It's a world. They've left a world behind. It's like, what's the world? You picking on people? What's the world you left behind? Go on. We didn't realize how much mental illness we were dealing with. And when we realized how much mental illness we were dealing with, we're like, well, we don't want it. Like, we just wanted to make fun of somebody. We didn't. So this is a hundred percent just. Uh, malicious tribal othering is what this is. This is like going like, I don't have to talk to that guy because he's a racist. It's like, that is your boss. Slash dad. (laughs) It's like, you don't have to talk. You don't, oh, we're not going to deal with Chad Zuma because he's mentally ill. It's like, that may even be the case because mental illness is a spectrum. I'm sure I'm mentally ill. I'm a comedian. I'm sure Chad's mentally ill. He's a comedian. I'm sure you're mentally ill, whatever you are. You don't know yet. So why would we, you know, you don't know whether you're a fun, light morning show guy. You're trapped. I mean, I mean, this is dead serious. You're trapped between a goddamn ethernet cable and a, and a broadcast antenna. You've got one foot on each straddling these two worlds. You want so desperately to be embraced by this kumia, angry, hero world in your head. You want to be one of these edgy shock jock guys, but you can't. You don't have it. You don't have the stomach. You don't have it. You look just as silly trying to hardcore go after motherfuckers on the radio as you do boxing. You know what I mean? You look ridiculous. I watched somebody had that video up on on uh, the Steel Trail Boring Show Reddit of you your first boxing thing like a year ago. Jesus Christ! And by the way, you know you're new. I get it. Figure it out. But this sad shit where you're like ripping off shirts to impress me. You go on big shows and you just do whatever they tell you to do. It's like new comics when they go on the radio and they're like, do one, what's your best bit? And they do it. It's like, ugh. Any comic worth their dick in, in weight. <laughs> when asked to do a bit on the radio, we'll go, fuck you. <laughs> so, you know, you don't know what you are. You kind of want everybody to like you. And now that you're getting a vast swath of the internet, which you've uh, completely sought out and tried to win over, turning on you, you have new guardrails springing up out of everywhere. I don't go there. I don't do that. We don't hang with those. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. My, what a weird electric fence you've put up in your yard and attached shock collars to you and your wife to not go outside the lines. Where did this come from? Are you Bill Maher? Because you got a lot of new rules popping up. It makes no sense, Aaron. We all see through it. And just because I'm talking about it, you can't label me mentally ill. Just because I'm talking about it, you don't get to go, he's dangerous. He might go too far. We're not going to deal with that guy. I'm a man with a house and a, and a family. I'm seven years older than you. I'm 43. I have no arrest record. That's not true. <laughs> I have no conviction record. I never stole credit cards. I haven't lived in a parking lot in months. So I'd love to see how I have two master's degrees. I'm still doing the same job that I've been doing full time for 13 years. How am I unstable? 
How, how am I mentally ill? Oh, yeah, I'm telling the things you don't want me to say. So now I'm mentally ill. Got it, got it, got it. What are you, the CDC? <laughs> I mean, everyone... I, look, I put this out there for other people to fucking judge. There are people out there who will see this, like your fan who threatened to come kick my ass, and think I'm a bully. I'm not ever going to cross a line. I'm not the guy who's like after your children or your ex-wife or whatever, but now that I'm even bringing them up, that I'm saying you have an ex-wife, you have children, c commenting on this conflict, you are washing your hands of me. That lets me know that something is amiss. You're hiding something. What is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. But you're not being an honest guy. You're not being honest, Aaron. And you can and, and look, you're never gonna come clean. It's clear you and I are never gonna see eye to eye. I thought there was a chance that, you know, you might come out of this unscathed. You're doubling down on it. You're making bad decisions. I, I, you know, good luck. Good luck. I foresee all of this crumbling for you. I know you, I know you think you got it. I, I know. But I was here a decade before you got here, and I'll probably be here when you're gone. All of you. I'm like an old cockroach in a nuclear winter. I just won't die. Jake Hudson is a low cow. Kevin Brennan lets him on his show now. No, no clue. Don't care. Uh, mentally ill people equals people who make fun of me. Exactly. Ex this is what he's going to try to spin now. And, you know, I understand that there's a lot of local yokels over there who are dialed into him, and it's going to take a lot to wake him up. But I'll tell you what, a lot of the fans you've cultivated – over the past few months by entangling yourself into this universe came for the party, came for the drama. And you taking your ball and going home, A, doesn't stop the drama, you know. It's one thing to be like, well, we're done with it, we're going to do a fun show, and then go do a fun show. What you're doing is a fun show where you stop every 20 minutes and scream about how you just want to do a fun show. <laughs> I think you protest too much. I think you yell. I think you yell at your fans what you're doing too much. Guys, what we do here, it's like we get it. We get it. Keep watching. I don't want to like bring people's families and shit into it. So we're not going to do that. That's just a, that's kind of a cancerous world. We're out. And it made so many people mad and they got so upset and they took that for Oh, well, they're backing down and backing out. It's like, what, what are you, what are you, six? So then, uh so, no, I, this is the other thing Aaron says a lot. He's like, they're so mad. These guys are so mad. It's like, no, 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 no. No one's mad over here. I'm having a vodka and winding down my night. We're all happy. Everyone in my chat is having fun, Aaron. Nobody's mad. You're not a real guy. You're not a real person. And I don't just mean in your accomplishments. I mean this. I mean you're not a guy. <laughs> um, your eyebrows don't match your beard. Are you dyeing your hair, Patrick? Now, see, this is an attack. If I was nuts and self-conscious, I would... Uh, Ban this guy from my chat room. Make sure no one ever created a, a, a username named Nick again. And put Nick in my list of banned words that could be said in my chat. Whereas, you know, like a normal balanced person will just go, 90% uh, of beards have red in them. It's, it's a fact. Look it up. And uh, I'm 43 years old and blessed by not having a lot of grays and stuff. So no one's more proud of me than this head of hair. You know, people, I wear a hat so people think I have a receding hairline. There's no, I don't have any. This is real hair. This is real. I just don't like to comb it. And I sell hats. So head over to nobodylikesonions.com slash store and pick yourself up a Nobody Likes Onions hat. These will be gone this month. <laughs> 
But yeah, I got more gray in my beard than I have in my in my head hair. So people go, people can say there's nothing you're gonna get me on. And by the way, if I was dyeing my hair, I'd tell you. I will never dye my I, I'm not going starting down that path. That's a path of idiots. How do you ever keep up with that? It's like uh yeah, I mean, these are insane. Um <laughs> a lot of Aaron jokes are just uh our O and A bits, the Florentine. Yeah, I'm like I'm not kidding you. Aaron thinks it's still the old days of O and A, uh, and you know I did that whole act out where I imagined Aaron's childhood the last show, and I understand that that doesn't line up time wise. Time wise, he would have been more been in college when he was listening to O and A, but that's formative years. You know what I mean? Like. This dude's whole personality is O and A. He must have not been getting laid and just forming his whole personality around O and A. And that now all he can do is make sling blade references and racist jokes. He brings out a uh, like a black fest, blackface, uh, you know, Wally Gog doll and does a whole fucking like it's insane. He does a voice, he calls it Shaka. And by the way, I'm not against a, a well-timed N-word. I drop about three a year. It's great. Really, really cleans out your pores. But him shoehorning it into every show, he's trying to make radio magic. He's trying to make radio magic. And it's sad. And he has these flashes, these moments. I, I tweeted it yesterday. I'm very fair with him. I said yesterday that it looked like him and April had good chemistry and there was no awkwardness. Maybe I'm wrong about this. And he liked that tweet. And then I said, but he's still hiding a lot. Like there is, there are demons in Aaron M. Holt's head. He didn't like that one. <laughs> and they had a segment where they were uh, making fun of the quartering Jeremy and saying they were going to start a coffee company. April's Magic Bean, you know, Steel Toe Cold. They were coming up with names, funny names for coffees. It was a Radio Gold segment. If that was an old O&A or something, it would have been magic in 2008. Magic. But these two kept it going on for 19 minutes, didn't know how to wrap it up, you know, because they have this fear, too. Number one, when they wrap things up, they have to immediately go back to begging, but they also have a fear that they don't have anything. There's no next monkey bar to grab onto. You know what I mean? To swing to, to save the show and get us into another funny bit. They're afraid to ride an energy of a show, ups and downs, slows and highs. They're afraid of that. They come from, the, again, not April, but Steel Toe. He comes from this mentality. It's like, keep it interesting, keep it flowing, keep it popping. Got to be talking. No silence. Fill the gaps. Roll the calls. He's nuts. Uh, you should get a penciled in goatee. Um, like Aaron, I'm even older and got all my hair too, ladies. O and A sucks so bad. I'm embarrassed I ever liked it. Anthony's a pedophile. Wow, these are allegations. I can't prove this stuff. Oh no. Um, O and A was great. O and A was great. But what Aaron seems to be missing in the recipe is the 15 years ago part. It's like trying to do O and A now looks like Aaron M Holt show. And I don't know who did this to him, but there's a bunch of other nobody podcasts talking about him, myself included. This is nothing. This isn't a real... We're nobodies. You include... Search morning show on YouTube and watch how many dumb idiots there are like you trying to do this. There's a million dummies with a thousand views on their videos doing a show. Like... You're not big. I converse back and forth with Opie and Anthony. They converse back and forth with everyone. Look at what's going on over there. It's like someone left out a rat trap and a podcast studio started inside of it. Just smelly and tacky. T-A-C-S. Other people decided, well, you know what? It must be open season. They're not making fun of people anymore. Fuck that. I love making fun of people. I just have to do a better job between the two people we caught, the uh, Chads and the Jake Hudsons of the world, and they are the same person, basically. Uh, well, that's not true. Jake has his own place to live. But when we tapped out... Of By the way, the reason he's solo 
is because he tried to go to his co-host, Corey Adam, and he wasn't there. So the other day we waited, you know, 45 minutes while he said April was taking a shit. We know, I mean, I'm sure that's not true, but April doesn't come to the show on time. She's 45 minutes late. Your, your co-hosts waddle into the, like, Corey Adam just has to go to his bedroom to do the show and put up a banner. And he can't be on time. These guys don't respect you. Corey Adams over on his stream after the show talking about how little you pay and how much you're struggling with money. 15000 a month is what I'm estimating this guy making. Just on the stream. Just on the stream. And who knows what comes in that we don't know about. Who knows? Uh, um, when, you're young, when you're young and starting out on a stream and have a bunch of these gullible... Listeners, you get big donations. Um, and and look, he oh he started uh now when he gets a ten dollar donation he only counts seven dollars of it towards the goal the daily goal because YouTube takes thirty percent so now he started subtracting out the amount YouTube takes the processing fee the the creator partnership fee he takes it out. He takes out the PayPal processing fee and the YouTube fees. That's fucking insane and also very impressive. Very impressive. I, 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 you know, Jesus. I, I, I've never seen anything like it. And he interprets that as like, these guys are all haters. They're jealous. They're mad. They don't understand. This is how you do a show. And it's like, there's no show I've ever heard on the radio or on YouTube that has a daily goal of $500 and milks the same 30 to 50 guys for 20 every day. It's it's bananas. These have to be like the most basic Minnesota jobbers. And of course, the goal reachers from the Steel Toe Boring Show Forum who who donate to him just to make comments pop up in his thing that he doesn't like. But, like, that's crazy. Holy shit, he subtracts the pot, the processing fee. Yeah, I caught it the other day on the stream because he goes, he goes, oh, thanks so-and-so for 10. We get seven of that. I heard him say it. So he'll, like, subtract seven from the goal, not the 10 the person donated. And he tells, you know, same thing here. I tell you, go to nobodylikesonions.com slash tips. We get to keep more of it for sure. But if you make a super chat, I'm not going to admonish you. That makes no sense. And I'm sure not going to hold it against you that YouTube takes some of it and not count it towards our goal. Remember, it's our goal, you know. He does a thing too. He's like, "Oh God, we're gonna we're gonna make fun of a fat retarded guy on the after show today." You're gonna want. I'm really excited about it. I hope we get to do it. Only if we get to the goal 400, will we do that? I hope we get to do it, guys. I, I'm excited about the after show. I hope we get there. 380 more. It's like fuck, fuck. The the narcissism on this guy. So he doesn't understand. He's just like, what? This is how a show works. Now, now again, if this works out for him, great. I'm not mad about the whole fucking uh, way that it works. Oh, someone just donated. What do we got? Ooh, thank you. 333 from Joshua. Um, Holy shit. Timmy Tables just donated 20. We're blowing up. Guys, that means we're uh, $23 to our goal, and Timmy, we get 14 of that. So that 14 counts, and of course the $3, $3 we get 2 18 of that. We just need carry the one. <laughs> like, imagine doing that fucking math. And also, like, these guys, uh, we'll get into it when they do the prize show, but they haven't figured anything out. They're writing down names and cutting out squares of paper and putting them into a bingo hopper. It's like... I've never fucking seen anything this funny. They're right. They do a fun show, everybody. Aaron M. Holt. This guy will be gone in two years. Mark my words. Mark, if not sooner. If not sooner. I'm going to show everybody a piece of... Again, do your next prize show. Do it.
Nobody will be watching. Nobody's contacted the Minnesota Attorney General about it. Nobody. It's fine. Do your next prize show. You're not breaking any laws. Everything's on the up and up over there at Steel Toe Entertainment. Thanks, Timmy Tables. Uh, it means a lot. We've really become hard and fast friends, you and I. We're going to have to dock penises very, very, very soon. That only counts as 14. He will fight back like Chad. Trust me. They can't leave it alone. They say they're done. They can't leave it alone. They've proven that. Th they talk about it every day, night and day. Hey, I put toe in front of my message. Yeah, you have to put toe colon. You just, the one downfall is you do have to read instructions and follow them to the letter. Try it again. It's 333. I won't be mad. Uh, I think April has some skeletons. She's a 28-year-old homewrecker. We need to carve and hey, There's nothing. Look, I mean, I mean this. Because they, wa they watch this and they go, he's so mad. It's like, I'm not mad. I'm going to go to bed after this and have an Egg McMuffin <laughs> while I sleep. No one's mad. And by the way, no one should be, like, fucking with April and Aaron in real life. They are just guys doing a show and trying to make a living. I honestly believe, like, they're really, they're probably decent people. Going back to April's Instagram, it's like, this is just a small-town girl and a small-town boy. They seem, they seem like they're happy and good for each other. Who knows? Maybe Aaron got married young. I'm not the morality police. I'm not after Aaron. Oh, he cheated on his dad. Look, it's not a great look. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Have I done fucked up shit? Yes. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, he cheated on his girl and stuff. The only reason to bring that up is because it annoys him. The only reason to even go there and needle at that and pull that thread, the kids or the ex-wife, is to see if he reacts. And he did. So now we know he's weak about that. Now, you don't have to do anything to the ex-wife and kids. You just have to mention he has an ex-wife and children. And then the dude crumbles. It, it's very in, insane what's occurred. And again, I was fully on leaning towards Steel Toast team. And the pivot I've made from just watching this guy buckle, because it all you see it all instantly. You see a guy's essence come to the forefront of his being the minute he crumbles. And you see how uncomfortable he is and coping he is. He's very, very hurt and upset and lashing out. And the, and you know it when they start talking about you within Saints. It's again like, what about me screams mentally ill? Do you think I act like this at the grocery store? You think I'm running around going, where are the bananas? Come on! <laughs> You think I do that at the fucking store? You think I walk around and have all my memes? No. I act like a normal person. I function in society. I have a family. I have a dog. I have a wife. We eat dinner. I own an air fryer. I've got a walk-in pantry. I put my pants on one day at a time, just like the other guys. <laughs> uh, what do I need to do to get your VIP, Patrick? VIP package. Uh, I need stickers. Everyone loves stickers. It's fun. We're all having fun. Thanks for the four ninety nine super chat, Galloway fam. The delusion of grandeur. <laughs> By the way, this guy has stickers. I'm and I'm pretty sure they're like um, printed. I'm pretty sure like April's printing stickers. If they're if they're not printing stickers, they look so bad. <laughs> Like, if you're ordering those from somewhere and getting them professionally made, they're bad. We'll, we'll get stickers up in our store. I got a lot of old ones with our old logo, the old onion. The new This is the new onion uh, logo, but we had an old onion, which was that, for years. And now we have a new one. Um, oh, I got coasters here. Look at this peeled coaster. Look at this fucking state of this studio. Jesus Christ. Um, how about this? Everybody who, uh, donates at least a uh, $5 super chat tonight will be entered into a drawing at the end of the show. We'll give you a piece of merch from the store, grab a hat, <laughs> 
All you got to do is get it in. Uh, how are we going to do it? Yeah, $5 gets you one entry into the drawing. $10 gets you three entries into the drawing. Every donation of $20 gets you five entries into the drawing. We're still trying to hit our flex goal, don't forget, of $250. And every, every dollar over $250, we divide it by the number of members and retroactively count the number of shows and spread that out against all members the coming month. So it really does get added back into the show. And, and also a fun thing that we're doing is every member – that donates at least $2 three consecutive months in a row. That means $6 total over the course of the three months. We put you back into another quarterly drawing, which you have a chance to win a VIP membership. And VIP members, oh, don't even get me started. Your flex donations go to a separate drawing, separate account, and a bonus jackpot where we, it's like, what the fuck? The fuck are you doing? If you haven't watched my special, <laughs> uh, Steel Toe special, 10 Minutes of Fun, that's one show. And he sounds, it's like a Tim and Eric sketch of him going like, here are the rules. And he just keeps like explaining. It's like that episode of Friends where uh, where Joey and Chandler are trying to, Joey's got the audition for the game show and they can't figure out the rules. It's so fucking insane. Even people in their chat are going, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Don't ever come at us like we're the mentally ill ones. We're not the ones sitting there with 19 spreadsheets and our fucking wife cutting shit up and grabbing a bingo hopper and holding up big stickers like they're awesome. The stickers you have are the size of circular saw blades. The stickers you have are like hubcaps. No one wants a sticker six inches across, you fucking nut. What would I even put that on? It's bigger than a football helmet. Jesus, something like that could cause DeMar Hamlin to get hit. Where are we putting stickers this big, you fucking idiot? These guys are so out of it. They have hoodies and t-shirts with that same shitty iron-on logo all day, every day. And they're like, you want a hoodie? No! I'll send you a steel toe hoodie. Don't burn them! Stop ironing patches onto shirts. I thought you were a big show. We would never do that. If I sent iron on shit to my fans, if I didn't embroider hat, you gonna iron patches onto hats? Fuck, you're amateur as fuck. In what world are you better than everyone telling them how it all works? Everything about your show is a joke other than your success. Minimal success. But if you're going to jump in this world where you clout chase, and by the way, I don't clout chase. I don't clout. I know what it looks like. I get it. And by the way, this is about, uh, about clout chasing a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to grab the fucking views. I'm going to grab the audience members. This has been insane. I showed up at this party when the bomb went off. So yeah, I'm doing it better than anyone else. I'll cover this. I'll, you know, I'm in the same position as Chad, and you've been fighting with him for five months. I've been doing it for one week, and you're like, enough NLO. Enough Melton. It took Chad five months. Why enough NLO? Am I out of it? Am I homeless? Am I ranting about you in parking lots? Do I not do prepared material? Oh, wait, I'm showing a lot of shit that you don't want attention drawn to. So now I'm mentally ill. Okay. Okay. I mean, fuck. Fuck. I'd be embarrassed to wear a steel toe morning show hoodie. It's illegal in the United States to run a giveaway that requires a purchase or membership to enter. It's actually, look, again, I don't know if we got our resident legal team in the chat. It's legal for any, it doesn't even have to be payment, any consideration. And by the way, you're a radio show guy. This ties into all the fucking pay for play, payola bullshit. You know these rules very well. So for, for you to be running an illegal lottery, look, we're not getting into this yet. This all comes later. This all comes later. But for you to run a lottery like you're running, you have to, you have to get rid of one of three conditions again. So game of chance, pay, pay or, or consideration, and you, and you don't allow any, any way for anyone to enter for free. Now you say it's free. We'll, we'll get into all this. This guy's so full of shit. Again, Aaron, if you're not breaking laws, run another one. Run another one. Run another one. 
I'm sure there's no attorney out there that would be interested in a class action lawsuit against you that everyone in your chat, nay, anyone who just wants to, can make a claim against you for not allowing them proper free entry and several states you would have to disqualify from this because you you don't fit into their very, very specific and narrow guidelines for running such an operation. You ever get one of these contests where they're like uh, residents of Nevada and Florida are not eligible, things like this? Because certain states have very stringent requirements and you have to disqualify. Ironically, Florida is one of the toughest, so Chad could really go after your ass. So run another one. Run it. If you're not breaking a law, tough guy, if you're just doing a fun show, run another fun drawing that's free and not breaking any laws. I'll wait. Run another one. Run another one. You running it yet? <laughs> fucking idiot. This guy's a fucking idiot. In what world do you think you can go up against me? You started talking mad shit. It's been a week, and I've done more hours of content than you're capable of. You and your wife tag-teaming in the basement between canoeings. I've done more. I can podcast more, and I can organize it better and be more focused, even smoking weed and drinking. People are paying attention to it. People are copying it, clipping it, putting it out there, and it's exposing your grift. Everybody saw the clip of you ragging on Stuttering John's kid, ragging on Stuttering John for being a bad parent, making fun of the transgender aspect as if it was a pejorative. You did that. We all saw it, and now the rules have changed. You got the bumpers up in the fucking gutters at the bowling alley. Oh, you can't go over here. This area's off limits. Woo. Okay. To be honest, Patrick is getting muddier than Chad. I will. I, this is why I'm saying Chad hasn't done shit. Chad didn't do shit. He mentioned he has kids. I'll dig your goddamn graveyard up. I'll show everybody your shit. And by the way, it's not personal. You did this. You did that. You go, NLO, does it even do anything anymore? It exposes frauds. And I'm not clout chasing. This isn't about you. Your whole operation is clout chasing, okay? Everything you do is clout chasing. I just got done running a comedian out of Las Vegas named Ty Rivera. It took two years to do. No one knows who he is, and it wasn't profitable in gaining listenership, exposure, or dollar-dollar bills, y'all. And I still did it. I did it for the lulls. I did it for the comedy community here in Las Vegas. And I did it because it's right. This guy's a predatory piece of shit. And you're insane if you think I won't do it to you. You're batshit crazy. And you can go, oh, uh, that's this is why we won't fuck with Melton. He's, he's over the line. He's mentally ill. It's like, why? Because I'm pointing out you're breaking the law while wagging your finger at everybody? Let's see what's what, motherfucker. Let's see what's what. I don't need to go after your kids. Who cares that you have kids? Who cares that you have an ex-wife? You. That's the only person. Not me. I'm going to bring down your fraudulent company. Ooh. Patrick's just trying to clout chase. I don't clout. I'll do nothing for years. There, it's like, no, we're tapping out of fucking with the mentally ill. It's a bad idea. You shouldn't do it, especially personally, because they're insane. So with the Opie thing, however, that's just like... That's a guy who kind of shit on us one time when we asked him to be on our show, so we goofed on him. Opie. Imagine saying to Opie, one of your heroes, that Opie guy. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, Opie's going to be brought to heel. Uh, people are saying Twitter is down. Ashley, 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 Ashley. Is it? Whoa. Twitter down. Oh, Corey's here. There he is. All right. Now Corey's in. Now you figured out how to make. <laughs> now you figured out how to make, uh, make it talk. So toe colon, any message will make Aaron read it. And you can, I think you can do, I'm not sure. I think you can do Josh colon and Josh, and you can make Josh Denny read it. I, I haven't even heard the Josh Denny voice yet. Um, but we're killing it with those voices. NLO is in the fight that Chad, NLO is a fight that Chad promised but couldn't deliver. I mean, it's not. You're just making me look at your show. I didn't even know this guy grifted for donations. I say grift is just a, a word I use. 
I didn't know this like guy begged for donations every show. I didn't know he had like a five hundred dollar goal he had to hit every day. And when I found that out, I was like, holy shit! And again, it's very impressive. Like I can't believe that he's getting it done with such a small audience. You know, like it's crazy to have five hundred people watching and get five hundred dollars. That's nuts every day, and then two hundred in the night show. Holy fuck. Uh, Edwin San Juan, very, very uh, funny comic here in uh, Las Vegas, 420. Thank you very much. Edwin San Juan runs a, has a permanent residency. He's been doing it for seven years at, at Planet Hollywood in the V Theater, right next to where uh, Britney Spears used to dance all the time before uh, she got her freedom. And uh, go see Edwin San Juan if you're ever in Las Vegas. What do I care, you know? Tell him the onions sent you. So Corey decided to waddle into the show about 15 minutes late. He finally sat up in his, you know, his, I imagine he has one of those electronic, uh, what are the, the craftmatic adjustable for fats where you're like, th like if I had to podcast every day like this, hi everybody. I'm just glad to be. <laughs> oh, shit. And then he has to, like, clean himself with that wand, that wiping wand that all the fat people have. Patrick, aren't you fat? Why are you making fun of this guy? Shut up! Get out of my fucking chair. That's because Chad's funny, but not the intellect, and Patrick is funny and has intellect. How dare you? I do not think I've ever turned into a steel toe morning show and seen anything but begging. I mean, Aaron appears to be relying on the ment mentally ill to prop him up with daily, daily donations. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. Um, but it makes no sense that he puts a cap on the profit. <laughs> he doesn't. When do you see what he's doing? It's so crazy. I watched that prize show and I saw the stupid thing he was doing to try to make it like, no, this is all in the up and up. It's so insane what he thinks he's getting away with. See you at the end of March for the next one. And here. <laughs> Twitter's not down. Oh, I got, wait, wait, hold on. Just as I say that, uh, there is a hashtag. Remember how he yells at everybody for not being prepped? Like, prep a show. Opinion versus the hashtag of Twitter down. Let's see. Uh, no, mine's, I mean, mine's going just fine. What can you do? This is All going right. great. Let's go ahead uh, and start today's show. We got a lot of people writing in. Uh, most of them saying Twitter is down. I mean, we're 10 minutes into the show, and he's like, let's go ahead and start the show. It's like, yeah, let's. The rest of them saying Twitter is fine. Uh, Alan Chihuahua says, man, I hate this guy. Alan, you're going to have to be more specific on who you hate. Do you hate me? Do you hate Corey? Both of us have personalities that clearly are remarkably hateable. Would you agree? Yeah, how does Corey wear the same thing every show? I know how Steel Toe wears it. The same thing every show because they're all just his shirts. Hey, ape, iron on a thing. I got a show. <laughs> but Corey's like, I would, I would agree. With yeah, that. I wear a hat every show. At least it's a fresh, different hat. I'm not just leaking into my clothing for a week. Survey says yeah. that's true. Yeah, Alan. Uh, so you're gonna have to be very. He says not you. Okay. Well, then you hate Corey. Oh, it's Corey it's that you hate. That's fair. I wish I knew you so I could care. Well, that's okay because uh, apparently last week you set Patrick Melton's hair on fire. So a lot of people just hating you right now. That guy, Patrick. So, I mean, the revisionist history on this, go back and watch that show. How many times do I say, how many times do I say, I don't, no Corey Adam or his comedy or I'm not going to say anything bad about him. Like I don't, we had a good night and a good time. As he said, I was a dick and I was a prima donna and I was mentally ill and thought I was uh, in my head. I thought I was on par with Joe Rogan and Mark Maron as my contemporaries. He said all this and I said, I mean, it's crazy that he thinks that, but all right. I thought we had a fun time. He seemed like a nice guy. 
That's all I said. Now it's like, you've incensed Patrick. He's very, it's like, no, no, no. We cut one video about Corey Adam, and then we showed him talking shit about Aaron last week on his show, after show, the Steel Toe Morning Show after show, which gets 40 views. Talking shit about Aaron. That's all I showed. I'm incensed and so mad at Corey. It's like, no, 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 this is another guy that uh, people started messaging me. Oh, he has sexual uh, harassment allegations and a lot of stuff that came up in Minnesota that drove him out. And apparently somebody said that, like, that might be related to Steel Toast firing, that they were entangled in some sexual harassment type thing at the company they were at. I don't know. I have no other information on that. But that's what I heard. And it's, again, I'm not mad so i'm getting you with sexual allegations these articles have been written years ago i just googled them because someone told me to and now i'm talking about it we have a guy who was canceled for harassing a woman aaron fired from his show who's hired another guy who's been driven out of the community for harassing women what a part what part about this fun show isn't on board with harassing women You know, Chad brings up your ex-wife and it's, hey, now, too far. No, 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 no. You and your guy have records of harassing women, both in the corporate space and in the personal private space. So now am I talking shit? Am I mentally ill? Or are these just... Things on the board that we can point to that are truth. And you would prefer if as much of your audience as possible never hears about it or knows about it because you'd like to keep working the unfunny sexual harassment guy. It's like, okay, just say that. Say I stand by Corey. He's really, really funny. Did you hear the two blinker fluid jokes last week? Rick Melton. I, I have to tell you, I think it might be a case of clout chasing, like someone seeing our show on the up and kind of wanting to grab onto the coattails. Because Okay, so again, I just spent two years clout chasing a guy with no clout. Am I, is that level of focus the kind of thing a guy who buzzes around hopping from topic to topic? No, no, no. I found our next locale, and it's you. And so that's what we're on now. You jangled some keys. I smell smoke and fire, and now I'm on to you. I was on your side, and I flipped. Do you understand? You're a phony fucking baloney. You lie to your listeners, and I have all the receipts of it tonight. I, 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 you must have the lowest IQ motherfuckers on the planet. To believe your horse shit. I think he's clout chasing. He sees our channel on the up and up. Shall we? Here is the Steel Toe Morning Show YouTube. Here's a clip from nine hours ago with 400 views. Here's a clip from a day ago with 500 views. Here's a clip from a day ago with 800 views. Here's a clip from two days ago with 400 views. Let's scroll down. 3,000, 3,000, 1,000, 5,000, 3,000. On the up, your videos have fallen off a fucking cliff. My friend, you, I mean, following a show. Honey, if your show was the biggest show in the world and you had a network and offered me a job, I wouldn't go to Corn Town over there with you. It's corny as fuck. You could, I, I don't know what delusion you're under where I'm chasing your show, but would it be embarrassing if it got out to your listeners that I left you on red twice, bitch? I left you on red twice with you asking me to come on your show. Like a fat girl who gives toothy blowjobs on red, unresponded. And now that I refuse to come on your show, after you asked me twice, 
Now I'm clout chasing, trying to get into the steel toe world. I've rejected coming into the steel toe world. You asked me twice to come on your show. Twice. Now that I've said no, you're going to go, he wants on this show so bad. Okay, let's check the receipts. I'm not a guy who likes to show DMs, but here we go. So remember, I, I found Steel Toe like Wednesday of last week, did a show. On Friday, Aaron M. Holt messaged me, let's get you and Corey on the show together sometime. Could be fun. And I said, as long as he can stick to one timeline, because remember, in Corey, Corey's show, and go watch this video clip on our channel, Corey said, Patrick's delusional, he thinks he's Mark Marin. and then 10 minutes later, he goes, Patrick's always been really honest and self-aware. He's always been known for that. It's like... He said, ah, I enjoyed the back and forth. It'll be fine. So I ignored it. I'm not going on your show, you nut. Monday, can you come on Wednesday? To what? Radio War with you and Corey? He's bad. You know he's bad. Actually, I thought it was a big misunderstanding. I swear, I don't think he was saying that. Maybe it came off wrong. I was under the impression he likes you. I wouldn't have you on to do Radio War. I don't need my kid's picture and divorce settlement up there again by the psycho who forgot how to be funny. Chad Dig, not you. More to just have some fun with how big of a misunderstanding it is between you two. It's like, there's no big misunderstanding. I don't need to make up with Corey Adam, the sexually harassing, unfunny comic who's running all over the country, working part-time and trying to become a comedian while, while he's, you know, aging rapidly. I've quit comedy. I find it very, very stupid and cringe. You won't find me at the clubs. It's gay. This is what I'm doing. So there's your receipts. There's, there's me begging to get on the show. Here's Aaron M. Holt telling you and all his other listeners that Patrick's clout chasing and wants to get on the show. If I wanted to be on Steel Toe Boring Show, I'd already have been on it. You're desperate. You're desperate. And then now I'm fine. Oh, he's funny. Oh, he's you're funny. You're you're welcome on the show. And now that I'm against you, he's not funny. He's mentally ill. Don't pay any attention. Hmm. Why would you two days ago want a mentally ill guy on your show? Two days ago. You're right, you know, this is the thirstiest bitch in the world. These are my only two messages to him. I left him on red. If I if I'm lying, Aaron, put up my responses where I go, when can I come on? What's the link? How do I get on? No one wants on. No one wants on. Steel Toe's not a big show. Like, what are you... Honey, I, again, like, you're the new guy in this world. Not, not anybody else. Just because they're smaller than you or not as desperate as you or don't advertise a local bar on the lower corner of their screen with a really absolutely fucked to anti-alias shit logo, you know? No, no one's worried about you. No one wants to be on steel toe. <laughs> He's trying to clout chase. It's like, fuck, dog. Why lie about me? Why lie? He's trying to just chase. No. No, I'm not. I'm stealing some views. I'm stealing some hits. A hundred percent. Are we doing? I thought this was the thing last week. Hello. Are we doing YouTube? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I made a funny video about April's forehead, and it got hundreds and hundreds of views. More views than some of your latest videos <laughs> in a shorter amount of time. The tiny little nobody likes on your channel. Brr. I don't care about numbers. I understand that they'll be good this week and bad next week. You don't. You don't. You think you've got a really unique, fun show. Nobody's out there covering... covering uh, what Don Lemon's up to. Nobody's out there talking about the guy that got shot in the head yesterday. Wow. Nobody's talking about Lori Lightfoot's not the mayor anymore. Waka waka. What a unique, fun show. No, you'll rise to the top. Nobody on YouTube's talking about any of that stuff. If I didn't, this guy's making fun of like Crystal and Sager and Opie. And it's like, Opie's lost and doesn't have any entertainment option. But, you know, again, Every guy you make fun of has done more than you. 
and more than you'll ever do. Steel toe is not about to pop. I shouldn't be able to Google clip art boots and find all the pictures you use for your logo. <laughs> Fuck. Like, this guy's making 15 grand a month. Where is the money going? Hello? Where is the money going? Not to the banner. Not to the production quality of the show. Why, when you and Corey are on... Alone is Corey relegated to a corner down here. Side by side? Ever heard of it? No, no, no. Then we wouldn't waste a ton of screen real estate. Then it wouldn't look amateur as fuck. Every show you do looks like a Zoom call that went bad. And people can't wait to get off. It's like... And you, you got the nerve to tell people, I'm clamoring to get on, on the Steel Toe Morning Show. You'll be gone soon. I promise. Fuck, I talk about feeling bad for April. Jesus fucking Christ. Continue. Because for the uh, either that or it's alcohol brought on like psychosis because <laughs> so now so I'm mentally ill, clout chasing, or I have an alcohol brought on psychosis. A little bit of a little bit of backdoor here. Uh I know you guys every time we're together, it seems like I'm having a drink. I've drank half the shows that we've done here about Steel Toe, and I sure am drinking tonight. My mom passed away when I was eight years old because she drank so much her liver failed. My father was an alcoholic, and my grandfather was an alcoholic. Now, I trust none of this information will ever be used against me because if anybody ever brought up that my mom drank herself to death because I was such a miserable piece of shit and she couldn't stand to mother me, I'd probably hang myself from one of these pieces of hair on the onion. I can't even imagine. Oh, you gotta go there and bring moms into it? I don't care. I don't care. I loved my parents. I had a good relationship with them. They couldn't handle alcohol. And I'm intelligent. So all throughout my 20s, while I was working on my two master's degrees and figuring out what the fuck I wanted to do, starting comedy at age 23, I was very careful around alcohol. I don't drink a lot because of the history of alcoholism in my family and the uncomfortable memories I had of watching drunk people. I find women that I date who get sloppy drunk to be very, very uh, gross and disgusting. It's a turnoff. And you'll rarely ever see me, again, a handful of times in my life, lose control of my faculties, lose control of my sensibilities, not able to walk, not able to control myself, not able to put together a set. You, it doesn't happen. So what alcohol-induced psychosis? I mean, I didn't realize that you were a doctor, but go on. You know, these guys just, anything they can say to discount you, it's just the same game they play in politics and the media, you know? Oh, anti-vaxxer. Oh, you're a racist. Oh, you're, it's just like othering. It's othering. And it works on weak tribal people. So, it, you know, it, this shows the level of respect Aaron has for his listeners. If, if you guys were all over my chat room going, holy fuck, he's so drunk, look at him, he can't even. I'd go like, Jesus, I have self-awareness. I'd go like, whew. He makes that much? That's, that's my guess. That's my guess. Um, how did you get 15K a month? Just curious. I missed it. Uh, so... I'm... I'm Guessing 15K a month. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's a slow burn tonight. You'll see. Or it's the fact that you're growing out a villain goatee. Uh, or it could be the bizarro world goatee. But I, like, see, I, watch... I, be I believe Corey's not invested in this. He's changing the subject and stuff. And by the way, I have nothing. There's no. Nobody's mad at Corey Adam. Nobody's mad at Aaron M. Holt. Nobody's mad at April M. Holt. I, I wish those guys happiness. I hope they figure this stuff out. But everything you do is dated. Everything you do. So enough finger wagging. That's all I'm saying. Everything about your show is amateur hour 2006 podcasting. All of it. And you're not a big enough show to go around... Like, like again, statistically, you and I are nothing, zero burgers. 
You're in the same fucking boat as me. Like what? You, oh, we get it. We get 500 viewers. It's like, oh. I bet Susan Wojcicki's creaming herself in her in her Herman Miller. <laughs> what you said? I have no idea what the problem is. Yeah, I don't. I, don't I <laughs> it just. It, I don't know. It just Dude, it was like kind of a dick to me. I said he was kind of a dick. Yeah, and by the way, great radio. Like he, like Aaron's trying to like fuel the war. Like I think he's mentally ill. What do you think, Corey? And Corey's. I don't know. Remember, Corey's on his phone the whole show. So. Yeah, Whatever. not not the biggest. By the way, if someone were on a show and they said, "Oh, I met Corey or I met Aaron one time," and they were kind of a dick to me, right? My response would more, most likely be, "You know what? It wasn't that he said I'm kind of a dick. I'm a full on dick." Do you think I'm so thin-skinned and stupid that I'm like, he called me a dick, it's on. <laughs> no one calls me a dick and lives to see their children. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's that he called me a dick and unaware and, and delusional, and then a minute later goes, Patrick's level-headed and always always been very self-aware and, and self-critical. It's like, well, which is it? And why do we need you if you have every opinion ever? That's what it's about. It's more about you hiring a guy who goes on after your show and talks shit about how you're not doing well and don't pay him. $50 a show is what somebody said. $50 a show. Corey Skype's in for four hours. $12 an hour is what Steel Toe pays. Can we get eight of that? But that's possible. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Like, I don't know. I just, whatever. I, He's still funny. I like him. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like, know. I, that's the thing is I can't even, I can't even bring myself to dislike. Just kind of a dick. Like, whatever. He yeah. He just seems a little nutty. I, he seems a little yeah. off to me. Like, in the, in the new world of Steel Toe where I'm trying not to attract people who might be, like, vindictively mentally ill. So how how is this? Let me know how this cope sounds. This is gonna be good. This is great. Ill, I think I'm gonna go ahead and you know maybe leave that one off to the side. In a world of vindictive, mentally ill people, Steel Toe is gonna take a pass on old Patrick Melton and nobody likes onions. Come on, come on, let me on the show, please. Steel Toe is going to take a pass on me. As if I don't have the DMs. Like, he real. And by the way, I know the truth will never reach his audience. I just want you, the enlightened enough to come over here and watch, to know. Look at those DMs. He's asked me twice to come on, and I've... And now he's like, you know what? We're just Steel Toe's going to distance ourselves from Patrick Melton. Bitch, I already left the building. You couldn't catch my car. <laughs> he's like, I think we're not going to have him on. It's like, great. Got really mature decision by Aaron M. Holt. Really bra brave way to steer the media empire that is Steel Toe Entertainment. By the way, head over to SteelToeEntertainment.com. Click on Watch Live. Oh, wait, it loads their Twitch page, and they haven't been on that in over a year? It's like heading over to compoundmedia.com and seeing right at the top of the page. Would you like to, This is the funniest discovery of my past 48 hours. Everyone go to compoundmedia.com. <laughs> the front fucking page. The page that loads immediately says... New schedule for 2022! We are in March of 2023. Will someone please head over to Compound Media? And I know the guy who runs it, Eric Nagel, E Rock, who we all loved on the Opie and Anthony show, has a lot on his plate. But you haven't updated the website in over a year? New schedule for 2022? Will someone please head down to Compound Media and knock the shamrock shakes out of E-Rock's fat mouth? 
Jesus Christ. This is embarrassing on so many levels. I mean, do we even need to talk? We're, we're a quarter of the year into 2023. New schedule for 2022. Does anyone else want to argue that Kumi is not out of it? Does anyone else want to argue that these guys are the plugged in, put together radio gods that they were in the early 2000s? No, no. So when you go like, Anthony's in talks with me, it's like, Anthony doesn't know what year it is. Anthony's in diapers. Anthony hasn't looked at his own website in over a year. No one has because the new schedule for 2022 is the first thing on the webpage. And I don't even know if this is fucking responsibly designed. What does this look like on a fucking phone? I, I, I mean, I swear to God, this just looks like a hacked together front end to some cloud front video on demand service. I, I, I follow us on Android. What is, what is this? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? And you're fucked. And by the way, the th things Aaron M. Holt cares about the most right now are his YouTube channel and Kumia and clip this and send it to him. I'm serious. If you, th I'm serious XM. If you think adding Aaron M. Holt to your channel is going to help it, you're out of your mind. Why don't you get E-Rock out of his chat room every show and get him to update your goddamn website once a year? New and 2022 shouldn't be on your website in March 2023. It's cringe. It's embarrassing. And again, it's not even like this is fucking buried nine pages deep in some fucking FAQ that just didn't get updated, a la Apple. You know, this is on your front fucking page. This is compoundmedia.com. I can't wait for your new schedule for fall 2022. It's going to be a banger. <laughs> I, 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 enough, enough. These guys are clowns. Did you know AaronMholt.com is available was available? Oops. Continue, Aaron. I'd love to know more about uh my clout clout chasing and mental illness. I think I'm I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda let that one go and just kinda leave that one to do whatever it wants. So he's gonna leave me alone, guys. Don't even try to get on Patrick. Not gonna happen. You're just trying to get on our on our. We're an up and up show. You're not an up and up show. You're not. He's like, we broke records Monday, eight hundred and fifty in the chat room. We've never had eight hundred and fifty concurrent viewers. It's like people were in your chat room to see what was going to happen. People were there for you, like New Yorkers were there for each other the week after nine eleven. It wasn't real. <laughs> you know, like. They were just there to see the blood. They were just there to smell the burning skin. They wanted to see if you'd talk about it. They wanted to see if you'd be uncomfortable. And you were. And then what happened the next day? Those people weren't there again. You peaked Monday. You haven't hit it since. I've ch I checked on your morning show and your night show. They had 200 and something viewers in it. You're acting like Rumble's grow. Oh, it's Rumble's growing. It's like Rumble can't super chat. Rumble can't super chat. You don't care about rumble. I'm not dumb. I know what you're doing. In the first two years of compound, you could just click enter and it would let you in. Took them almost a year to fix. <laughs> How Patrick is saying clip this, LOL. <laughs> Pride of ownership. Anthony is too busy gaslighting race wars. What are you guys talking about? Uh, install confidence in, in, in any business partners. Yeah. Like imagine being an advertiser heading over to compound media. And they're like, well, they do have a new schedule for a year and a half ago. So that's dope. You used to be able to, uh, you already, already read that one. They run a type ship over compound media. Compound media is a joke. He never wanted to grow compound. It was just a vanity project. So Anthony could still feel like he's a big time guy. Huh? 
I don't know. Um, we don't need to do that. Okay, then then apparently on the night show, Aaron and April both were talking about me. I haven't watched this one yet. Let's give it a go. Over time, two and a half hour show on the line. We've been great. You guys were awesome for the prize show. You never want to hear a guy go, we've been great. You got to admit, we've been great. Last night after the prize show, he said like four times, like, this was a great prize show. We had a really good prize show. This was a good prize show. It's like, ooh. <laughs> he has to constantly tell you, we're having fun. This is fun. We had a great show. This was a good show. This is not a guy. <laughs> Your time. Two and a half hour show on the line. We've been great. You guys were awesome. For the We've been show great. Night. Thank you for being so supportive of this program. Yes, thank uh, you. Uh, what, what's his <sighs> name? Uh, I keep wanting to call him I, uh, Melton. Patrick. Pat Hold on. So did you just do the thing? I've never fucked your name up since I learned it. Because you, cause you made a thing. You're a week and a half into this. You've messaged me twice to come on your show. You talk about me every show. And now you, uh, what is it? What is the, what's the guy's name? You're doing the thing that you said faggot and losers do. <laughs> like, you're doing it. <laughs> like, uh, what is the, who's the guy who's done more content about this than anybody ever? Who's that guy who is tearing our whole world apart? What is it? Nobody likes legumes. Patrick, Patrick Melton. <laughs> He was incensed about our prize show. Was he really? He, again, they these guys don't understand emotions because theirs are out of control. <laughs> NLO podcast, Nuclear Wars. Anthony deserves to be where he is, surrounded by the likes of Big A and Gino Bisconte. E-Rock is more incompetent than Chad. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Chad kicked still toeing the... Shin NLO is dropping a hydrogen mine. I'm not. This is nothing. This is all just stuff that is. This is all just stuff that is. Like, I don't think I'm bigger than I am. I don't have my head up my ass. Like, I can't believe there's people here. Like, this is garbage. This is shit. <laughs> I mean, what is everyone doing? I'm just having fun, guys. We're just doing a fun show. 3.80 to go to hit our goal. Don't forget, we are giving away Rice Krispie treats at the end of the night to everybody who donates at least $4. We got Jello Shooters coming around for everybody who donates 12 Remember, 12 we get to take home eight. You donate seven, we get to take home five fifty. Donate five fifty, we take home three eighty two. Donate three eighty two, we take home two forty seven. Two forty seven, we take home one eighty four. One eighty four, we bring home a fat one twenty two of that. One twenty two, we are bringing home eighty one cents of that. Eighty one cents, I'm bringing home fifty one. Fifty one cents. It's like what the fuck. Just, just be where you are and be comfortable with it. Uh, everyone's clout chasing Steel Toe? Opie? Anthony? All these shows that are bigger than you are clout chasing Steel Toe? And, you know, I, I, I thought Steel Toe was burying Chad. I, I made fun of it. Remember, I was like, I was on Steel Toe's side. I was saying, like, Steel Toe's doing everything better. They're getting more views. They're getting more money. I had no idea. Ch Chad's raking it in now because of this. And Misery Loves Company gets so many super chats and money. It's like, if those guys ever figure out how to put on a show over there, you're fucked. <laughs> like, they'll really do well. If they ever stop fighting and put on a show, you'd be in trouble, M. Holt. But in his mind, he's so narcissistic. Everyone's clout chasing you know, steel toe. It's like, if we could only catch up with this banner having, clip art using, out of it, anachronism of a show. If we could only figure out how to do 2007 radio on the internet. <laughs> it's like, no one is trying to do what you're doing. And you're just screaming, you all don't know how to do it. It's like, everyone's been here longer than you. Everyone. And shall be longer. I'm predicting. 
was really mad. I didn't know about this. I haven't oh been really God. mad since the well, 80s. He was throwing a fit In the over chat? our prize show. No, oh. let, it, let it be known, Tuesday night's the night I didn't do a show. His prize show was last night, Tuesday night. I didn't do a show. I think I tweeted five times. Most of them were Steel Toes, the kind of guy tweets. Follow us on Twitter, NLO on Twitter. He was incensed. He was losing. If I was losing it, I would have run in here and done a show. <laughs> no one cares about your prize night. It's gay. No one cares. He was incensed about our prize night. What? <laughs> I had Indian food last night. I was incensed, but it wasn't about prizes. Or... Just like on the internet. In By the way, calling it prize night is insane in and of itself. We'll, we'll get to it. I've got charts. General. Like, I think he's been trying to grab onto the steel toe coattails a little bit to kind of jumpstart his stuff. I think he's been grabbing on the steel toe coach. Let's let me just grab. Yeah, Frankie había subido la marea. Y tú. Y tú. And I. And by the way, I've always said, God bless anyone who wants to do that. Sure. God. I mean, there's a lot of people right now trying to boost their signal using steel toe. God bless you. You boost their signal. This guy's a radio guy. It's like, b boost it how? Everyone who's coming to me to boost the signal are fans of people who aren't fans of you. The whole chat room insulting Steel Toe right now aren't Steel Toe guys. That's not how clout chasing works. These are all guys who hate Steel Toe. <laughs> like, how does it work exactly? I, I scream at Steel Toe, so I'm chasing Steel Toe. I want to be on Steel Toe. So I insult Steel Toe to get, I make fun of Steel Toe to, to get their listener, as if I want tractor driving Minnesotans listening to this show. It, it's hard enough with all these dumb idiots who are like, you die in your hair, fat boy? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the important thing, the important things. No one in my audience is Steel Toe's crowd that I'm, Hey, guys. <laughs> Richard Simmons is 91 today. No one's doing that show. You're trying to do it, but you can't because you're so in your own head. You keep talking about Patrick Melton. Clout. No one knows who Patrick Melton is. Imagine ruining your show. Again, I'm not bringing you on my show. I'm doing special shows to talk about you. My listeners... Come into the chat. You saw him earlier tonight. They go, oh, you're still not talking about Vegas comedy? I'm out of here. It's like, yeah, they're all expecting me to talk about Vegas shit that I've been talking about. So I'll put that regular show out tomorrow, and I'll try to worm some regular shows in here. But if you think I'm going to stop digging this hole before I hit a fucking slab of hard earth, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. You're the honeypot that keeps on giving. You're not a low cow. You're the Kerrygold butter that's already been processed and is in the store. You're the good stuff. You're the grass-fed that we've been looking for. You are pure sweet cream. You got the milk fat. You got the butter. It's all there, and it's all delicious. And we're just going to spread it on bread every night and have a little... No one... No one is clout chasing steel toe. You heard? We'll all be laughing going, remember steel toe in two years. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. We're having fun. Remind us, Melton. We're having fun. It's a fun show. Remember that. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you don't see us having a hard time. Just spell the name right. We're having a great time over here. If it gives you, if it makes you have a great time by trying to signal boost off of us, I'm again signal boosting. And again, I've never heard a guy just constantly, guys. We're doing great. We do a real show. We do a great show. We're having fun. What was your wedding like, April? You love me. You love me, right? <laughs> 
you t- you take me as your law free Reddit husband, right? We're having fun. <laughs> as if I'm a happy guy, but he I'm was a happy guy. About- I'm a happy guy. He was mad. <laughs> it's like, honey, I don't get mad anymore. My blood pressure can't take it. No one's mad. <laughs> like mad. At what? The internet? I I I imagine you opening the, the door to your cellar or your basement or whatever and you touching the the threshold of the door as you walk downstairs. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. <laughs> Game time. <laughs> this isn't real. When I come here to do a show, my wife looks at me and she's like, going to play radio again, stupid? And I'm like, yeah. (laughs) Ah! And I can't imagine anyone saying anything about her that I would even go back to her and repeat, much less anything that I could go repeat to her. And she'd be like, who? Wiggletails488 doesn't like me in the chat? They said you're fat, your dick doesn't satisfy me? Oh, no. I I can't mad at internet. I can't mad at internet. That's not a... If you haven't reconciled in your brain that there are people in the world who think differently than you, if you can't get on the the healthy mental plane of, of living in a world where you can have an extended community outside your local community without getting your brain racked, you know, get it together. No one is in, no one's mad and incensed. You're a radio show in Minneapolis. You're not even like in a, a re, it's like the minor leagues of minor leagues. I, Okay. That prize show. What was his complaint? Well, here, here's the thing. It was our most watched prize show ever. Those, uh, like April was saying, there were two hundred and something people the whole time. It was our most watched prize show ever. No one cares about that. Get on to it. The evening show numbers now are where the morning show numbers were when we first started on YouTube. Again, I just pulled up all the videos. I just pulled up all the video and go to the live show ones too. It's the same thing on that tab. They're all down. There's no way to spin it that in the past week. Your numbers are down across the board. On Social Blade, my, look, I don't gain a lot of subscribers all the time. I'm blowing you away. I wouldn't bring it up because that's cringe. I know that it'll probably shift and change, and numbers don't do it for me. What does it for me is truth. What gets me hard in the morning is sniffing out a fucking liar. And when you start swinging at me, calling me mentally ill and stuff, I know you're hiding something, and I know I'm getting close to it. So, I guess keep talking about me. Lucky me, you know, I wanted to be on Steel Toe for so long, he just keeps ignoring my messages. Oh, wait. It's, it's remarkable. And then uh, on Between Rumble and YouTube, we got 800 people at a time in the morning and about 500 or so in the evening. Uh, you know, bigger than anything we walked away from. I don't care. So that's very exciting. That's wonderful. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But the prize show is always something that the audience enjoys. And, and here's my thing. The prize show shouldn't be something that the audience enjoys. And here's my thing. I'm going to show you why. Later tonight. We're the onions. I've always thought if the audience is really enjoying something and you don't enjoy it, we'll get to that in a second. Thank you, Pro Guns. Whoa. <laughs> uh, we will, uh, we'll, now I'm distracted. I know, me too. I'll, I'll bring that off the- I thought you don't look at the chat. I thought everything's planned. Which is it, Aaron? You have everything. Everything this guy has is both ways. We do a prepared show. We do a real show. We don't waste our time with little internet drama. How does everybody have all these clips then? Where do these clips come from of you calling everybody names and starting fights? If you're- Just doing a fun show now. (laughs) Where where are all these clips coming of you talking about other people in real time every day? Night and day. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You're not. You're thrown off. You're reading the chat. You have to monitor the chat because you don't even trust your own mods. And you shouldn't. 
a little foreshadowing the uh, the screen for a little bit here. But um, the I've always thought you've got a mod telling me so much stuff, and you're not even gonna know which one. And you got another guy in your chat who's gonna fully betray you tonight. <laughs> coming up later it's so good i told him like ah oh, fuck i can't share these texts and he's like he's like ah oh, he'll know who i am and then he was just like fuck it i don't care tell him and he's like and i was like do you want to be mentioned he's like let him know let him know okay that if the audience really likes something then there's really no reason for you to if you don't like it to really get upset, like you don't need to get mad about it. Like we don't, we don't have a rule on this show that like you have to love everything we do and think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why back away from the Chad stuff? The audience liked it. You lost a lot of people when you backed out of that because they were there for that kind of. You, you're, you're no better than Ethan Klein at H three H three. He had an audience that he cultivated doing edgy, radio shocky shit. Okay? And his audience, in kind, came for that kind of stuff. Okay? Then he went full woke, and everybody went, this sucks. And they left. So the only people he had left, after his channel shrunk significantly, were the people who were into the woke shit. And now every time he reverts back a little bit into the person he really wants to be, which is an angry, shit-stirring, shocking guy, like you, Every time he reverts back to that, his now woke audience turns on him and goes, you can't say that. You shouldn't do that. That's what's going to happen to you, dog. You're going to build up a, a, a such a fucking audience of mush-minded, weak, mealy-headed idiots that, like, they will turn on you. Because you can't help yourself. You have to bring out a racist doll and do a dance every day. You're nuts. You're all over the place, dog. You're you're more cringe than Opie because you're trying to do the past. Opie might be living in the past and writing revisionist history. You think it is 2008. You think he really thinks that there's a chance that him and Ant team up and become big. In his mind, he's the only one who has the chops that Anthony has. And if they could just get together, it would be radio magic like in the old days. And all the XM subscriptions would go up, and he'd get to take that big elevator ride up to the top. He'd get a swipe into the big building down at CBS. He'd get to walk past the piano fish tank where O&A o &A used to do live April stuff. has my hairline. Oh, shit. Does she, is that true? That's crazy to say. Thanks for the donation, Core. But he, but you can tell he he runs these fantasies in his head. He had a fantasy on Kumia's show. If you haven't seen Volume Four of the Steel Toe Shine Box, go back and watch that. Where he's like, I don't know. He could either pick up Rogan or me. Kumia might pick up Rogan because Rogan's contract is up. But I'm hoping it's me. It's like there's. I'm telling you now. There's no way. Kumia is picking you up. We're going to see to it. You think he's not seeing all these clips? Clip it. Clip it. Eric Nagel can't update a website. We're letting him pick talent? Pick a web developer. Pick that. Then we might let you pick who goes on mic. What world are you in where you think Kumia wants a soft, Midwestern, fun show? These are the guys who take battle axes to motherfuckers. They're your heroes. And you thought you could run with them. You saw Jesse Owens on TV and go, running looks like fun. Let me give him a call. We can go out and jog together. Jesse Owens doesn't want to run with you. He's a thoroughbred champion, and you're white. You can't keep up. Now, I know that you're trying to do this delicate balance thing where you said, like, Opie thinks we're done attacking people. Bullshit. We're done attacking mentally ill people. It's like, no, no, no. You're done attacking people who attack you back. You're a pussy is what you are. You're a pussy. 
We're going to stay away from nobody likes onions. They're getting a little crazy over there. We ain't started, bitch. I haven't even called anybody yet. Do your prize show next month. Do it. <laughs> Ooh. Continuing. It's really like something. If the audience then likes it, what's the point? Really they no should be able to do it. For you to, if Just you don't like it, hypocrisy really after hypocrisy on this idiot. About it, like we don't, we don't have a rule on this show that like you have to love everything we do and think it's awesome. Mm-hmm. If you don't like it, it you don't Move have to along. get upset. Yeah, you don't have know. to get upset. You Patrice have- was on this show back in the day. Can he say that? Uh, doing a free drawing for two hundred fifty bucks. He called it a raffle, and I read YouTube's rules about. No, 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 no. I didn't call it a raffle. I called it a lottery. There's a reason I did that. Because it's a lottery. Now listen to this. He's going to explain to you why it's fine. And by the way, them, I put out that video today where I called it that. So they are reading. I put I put a little dog whistle in the show description of the 10 minutes of fun video. If you haven't seen it today, where I said he's pretty much breaking laws, running a lottery. So he read that. And now they're going to try to get out in front of it and tell you why it's all fine. Get out in front of it. Why is it fine, Aaron? That we were uh, doing a free drawing for 250 bucks. He called it a raffle. And I read YouTube's rules about raffles and drawings and things like that before we came here Mm -hmm. to see if we could do the prize show. It's very simple. That $15 does not buy you a ticket to the drawing. Buys you stickers. It get it buys you two stickers, and as mm-hmm. a thank you for buying the stickers, we say, "Hey, free entry into a, a drawing for two hundred fifty bucks if you'd like it." So his whole thing is like, uh, "We read YouTube's rules and guidelines for giveaways." It's like, "Oh, honey, you're not giving away anything. You're not giving away anything. This isn't a a ra- This isn't." You know, Twitch has it built in to Streamlabs and stuff where you can do. He uses Streamlabs. He could run this. He could do a raffle of people chatting. It's built into Streamlabs. If he really wanted to do a giveaway, say like, hey, everybody in the chat, you're eligible tonight to win $250. All you have to do is be in the chat. And we run the thing and you do it. That's legal. That's legal. That doesn't fit the three criteria of running a private lottery. Okay? That's not what he's doing. What he's doing is trying to do this this shady workaround where he goes, no, 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 you give $20, you're buying two stickers, and then you get a free entry into the drawing. Still not legal, dog. Still not legal. It sounds like you read half of the fucking rules and don't understand the law at all. At all. You have to give people a way to enter free. And it can't be complicated and take a considerable amount of effort or money. There's a reason why on every package of Pepsi uh, that has a game piece in it or a Monopoly game piece at McDonald's, they tell you you can't win certain things in certain states, not eligible. And they tell you if McDonald's can't figure it out, you think you can? Go on. I'm listening. I, I feel like, yeah, maybe the guys down at the Steel Toe Entertainment crew do have it all legally figured out and sussed. Go on. So you go, oh, uh, yeah, you get two free, you get sticker, you buy stickers, and you got to enter free entry into the drawing. Only you get so drunk during your stream because you were drinking shandies. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> He's popping shandies over there on the stream. Oh, no. And he lets it slip one time when people entered. And this is in, I have the show pulled now, Aaron, so don't try to go clip it out or anything. I have the show pulled. Go watch my video, uh, a Steel Toe comedy, a Steel Toe morning show special, 10 minutes of fun. You'll hear Aaron say in one of the clips, and it's a part of a bigger segment, of course, of the show, um, that I... We could probably watch tonight. He says during one of the things, like, you just got two free stickers. So you messed it up. 
He paid for the entry and he got two free stickers. He fucked up one time and told a guy, you're getting two free stickers for that entry. So you've already admitted now on stream what you're doing. And second of all, you provide no way for people to enter this, um, to enter this without, uh, you got to steal to entertainment's website. I tried to find it. Cause you have to have, you have to have a, you have to have a privacy policy for how you're going to use the customer's information for sending out the prizes and stuff. Your company doesn't have any of this stuff set up. And not just a privacy policy for your website, stupid. You have to have a contest. Pri like, we followed YouTube's guidelines. Well, I guess that trumps federal law, you dope. You're not running a giveaway. You're running a fake lottery. You're taking donations from people to be entered into a drawing for cash dollars. The only way to enter that is to give you cash dollars. Yeah, you're giving me cash dollars for stickers and you get a free entry. How do other people get a free entry? No link in the chat room to other rules. No way to join or, or sign up for that drawing without buying anything. And this is exactly what makes it illegal. You do a $100 drawing every month for VIPs who have to give you $250 a week to be VIPs. They have to give you $250 in one week to become a VIP of the show for a year. And then they get entered to a monthly $100 drawing. Guess what that is? The same fucking thing you're running again. It's illegal as fuck. It's an illegal lottery. The only way to get it is to give you cash. And it's a game of chance. Would you like to fucking bet, motherfucker? Again, if you're not doing anything wrong, run another one. Run another one. Do it. Do it. I got a month to get ready for this. Run another one. And you convince your fucking uh, loser fucking fans to give you this money? That's fine. You don't get to run a lottery. You're out of your fucking gourd. As if people want these stickers anyway, these fucking giant stickers. Are you fucking crazy, dog? Are you crazy? And then more cope from Aaron as if, you know, Aaron says, if you do, if you do a show, want to make a living, but can't make enough on ad revenue, you have to have to audience to make up the rest. If that's what you do, don't run from the e-beggar label. It is what it is. If that's how people make it, good for them. If it's not for you, that's okay. And he's right. To a certain extent, he is right. What he doesn't know, what he doesn't, like, look, what we're all laughing about is this isn't sustainable. It won't work. That's the reason we're all laughing. You're coming from, you're a radio guy who is broadcasting terrestrially and on Twitch. And so this will all work for a little bit. This will fucking crash to the ground, especially when the Minnesota Attorney General gets involved. Do you think you're going to get away with this? Do you, you know what you're doing? You know what you're doing. Same thing you know. What we, are you just, which is it? Dumb or liar? Which is it? Do you think Corey Adam is one of the funniest in Minneapolis? Is he the best you could get? Or are you fucking lying? We read the YouTube guidelines. Imagine running a business like that. I Googled it. It seemed fine. It's like, again, you're talking to a guy who's been doing this for so fucking long, I understand how it works. You're insane. This is federal fraud. This is absolutely illegal. There's not, it's not a gray area. There's no wiggle room. It's fucking insane. If you haven't seen an Aaron M. Holt prize night, buckle up. That's what he tells you over on the stream. Buckle up. Here we go. There is no... Pr you guys are trying to give me a goddamn heart attack right out of the chute. Yeah, radio. Um, 
This is great. That lady pipes up in the chat straight from the YouTube uh, guidelines. Your contest must be free of charge to enter. Don't forget to check your local lottery laws. So he's like, I read the YouTube guide. It's fine. It's like. This guy might be dumb. Woods guy and Woods girl might be fucking retarded. <laughs> like, I, I, where do the lols stop with these guys? It's so fucking funny. What's wrong with the banner? That looks good. What's wrong with our intro? It looks good. What's wrong with our contest? We read the guidelines. What's wrong with our stickers? They're big as hubcaps. What's wrong with our sweatshirts? We iron them together. It's it's shit. It's so shit. Everything about your show is like balled up tinfoil. Somebody pulled out of the trash and straightened out and go, this is good, right? We don't need curtains. It's like he read a book on how, how long, uh, on how to long play con people and how to play mind games by throwing a bunch of numbers at people. It's fucking insane. Again, you know, we've been doing a lot of, uh, videos of this guy and I put together <laughs> just if you haven't seen it this is the video there is no price to get into the $250 drawing $20 super chats or $15 Streamlabs and PayPal and that's just to make up the difference in the percentages for YouTube you probably get 150 bucks in uh, in merch and whatnot if you don't know this if you're a VIP you get entered in a $100 drawing for these prize shows every month. If you become a member tonight, you are in. If you guys have never been here for a prize. If you become a member tonight, you're in the drawing for money. It has to be free. Says it on YouTube. We read the YouTube card. Like, do another one. Show. I'm telling you, I'm not overselling it. Uh, the 10 bucks will go for, you know, we just have those, you know, I think uh, a buck for the $10 just so we can keep straight. He can't even... This is so complicated, he can't even keep it straight. His bullshit. Wants him. Uh, we'll probably just go five for the 25 and 10 for the 50. If you throw in, here's the, the rules. I'll put them in the chat right now. Remember to get a hold of April uh, if you want those stickers. Some people just want to qualify. They forget about the stickers. Uh, I that's, that's the crux of it. Some people forget about the stickers. Right. They're just entering up a drawing for money. <laughs> I tell you what, on prize shows, I am a mess to begin with. Give me the cash. Times are, you know, times are all fucky right now. I've been wanting to be a VIP to this show for a long time. Uh, if you become a member, uh, we put you in the $100 drawing tonight. And also, if you continue being a member, we take the number of members we have every month, divide it by the amount of shows we do, and we knock that much off the daily goal. You guys keeping up? Putting up a poll with 20 bucks. He wants in the VIP slash $250 drawing. He's getting himself two free stickers he's getting himself putting up a poll once into the drawing he's getting himself two free stickers hold on i thought we were buying the stickers and getting a free entry to the drawing mm, that's not gonna look good later e-beggars doing a comedy show that's it oh no we don't do that here 28 people are in the VIP slash $250 drawing this evening. Uh, we got an hour until we draw a $100 prize for one of the members. Uh, why don't we do the local prizes and the national prizes? Is it fun yet? And, uh, that's for, and you qualify for the $250 slash VIP drawing. So there you go. All right. Strippers Got Me Band is in for one qualifier in the drawing. And April, anything over 40 qualifiers tonight goes towards tomorrow morning. Now, that's another thing. We you couldn't write this funnier. It's so fucking all over the place. And then anything over 40 carries over to tomorrow, and we divide it by the number of total listeners with the number of shows. It's just like, what? When does the show go? We have to tell you guys, if you're new to the prize show, you can qualify as many times as you'd like. I'm up. There's no limit to the number of times you can hand me $20 to try to win $250. we are not going to cap it, guys. Mark, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I want, like, my whole goal as a broadcast, some people have a goal as a broadcaster of, like, oh, the adrenaline and the fights and the this and that. And then the $250 drawing will be at 9 o'clock. I got three $10 gift cards to Midland. 
a buck super chat just so we know who you are works go uh five for 20 10 for 50 one one five and ten go go bananas i've got 150 two twenties and three tens one five and ten go ahead i'm taking first come first serve <laughs> And by the way, hang, low-hanging fruit and jobbers in the podcast business, horseshit, we're e-beggars. So we got a lot of people entered, I know, we got about a half hour until we draw for the $100 prize for VIPs. We're giving away $10 gift cards to Stonies. Now this is for Minnesota people. Sit back, enjoy the show, you'll learn something. If you want the 50... Is that, I laugh so hard at this, so fucking hard. Ah, oh, it's so fucking funny. Wait for the 50. If you want the 20, wait, do the 20. If you want the 10, go for the 10. I can't give you more than one. Who's Right Podcast says, I feel like I'm watching QBC. Like I said, if this is your first prize show ever, it gets a little hectic for the first half hour or so, and then we get into showtime. Steel Toe brightens my day. Steel Toe makes me laugh. We're going to do four $10 ones. And the only way to really organize this is if you just throw in like 99 cents or something, uh, we'll just pick you. There's got to be a way to keep this order. So what he's talking about, and this is crazy. This this one, it's just, this one might not be illegal. It might be, uh, depending on Minnesota law. But it's shitty to his sponsors. Listen to what he's doing. This is this is so crazy and cringe. Hold on. It, it is illegal. It is illegal. It is illegal. Sorry. Everything he's doing giving away stuff is illegal. So his sponsors, some gun store and Rollies, which, again, we couldn't ask for a funnier Rick's, uh, something analogous to Rick's. I mean, it's just. Um, so Rollies has given him, or sorry, what is it? What's the name of the place? Rocky Rollies. Ah, fuck. What's the place called? For VIPs. We're giving away $10 gift cards to Stonies. Now the Stonies. Okay, Stonies. We're giving away $10 gift cards to Stonies. Now, they're giving away $10 gift cards to Stonies. They're giving away $25 gift cards to Stonies. And they're giving away 50 gift card dollar gift cards to Stonies. They have four $50 gift cards. That's $200. They have four $25 gift cards. That's $100. So $300 total. And they have four $10 gift cards. So that's $40. That's $340 total. Stonies, his sponsor, has given him $340 worth of gift certificates to give away for the month. Now, this is an Awful deal, even if this is all they're giving him for sponsorship. I'm sure he's conned him into giving him money, too. But this is this is a shit deal. You're advertising Stoney's Bar on the internet. It's like, yeah, if I'm ever in St. Cloud, Minnesota, I'll swing by Stoney's. Hey, Aaron Emholt sent me from old Steely, time, Steely Dan Radio Tan. Like, what? So they give him $340 in gift certificates, okay? How does he give them away to the chat? Now remember, Streamlabs has a Streamlabs Stream Elements, they have an automatic drawing thing. You can literally log on there and just go randomly select someone in the chat right now and it'll spit out a name. And then you can give them the thing. Is that how Aaron does it? No, 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 no. He wouldn't make any money doing that. How can he make money off the gift certificates he was given to give out to his listeners? Well, he's basically, I mean, not basically, sorry. He's selling the gift certificates to his listeners. He says, all right, we're going to be giving out the gift certificates. So if you want one, let us know in the chat. Go. Now, what do you do when he says go? Uh, just so we can keep track, if you want one of the $10 gift certificates, donate 99 cents. If you want one of the $25 gift certificates, donate $5. And if you want one of the $50 gift certificates, donate $10. It's like, 
even if you were trying to do a giveaway and the only way to like hold up your paddle to like register for the giveaway was to donate 99 cents, why not just have everyone donate 99 cents and then pick people and give them the prizes? No, no, no. If you want the more expensive prizes, you got to super chat more money. You're selling $10 gift certificates for a dollar. You're selling $25 gift certificates for $5 and you're selling $50 gift certificates for $10. You're selling them. You go, the first four, four people to give 10 will get the 50s. The first four people to give five will get the... You're selling them. It's not a contest. These aren't prizes. You're going, who wants the $5 gifts? Who wants the $10 gift certificate? Donate one. Who wants the 25? Donate five. Who wants the 50? Donate 10. You're selling gift certificates that were given to you. You're making money off your sponsor and your fans. And you call that prize night for your fans. You must think we're all fucking retarded, Aaron. This puts you in another precarious position where you are basically breaking the fucking law. And I imagine if we called Stoney's and said, hey, did you know that Aaron's making $64? What, what is it? He makes four tens, he makes four fives, that's 60, and he makes four one dollars. That's $64. Aaron's making $64 off the $340 in gift certificates you gave him. And he does this for both companies that give him gift certificates. How is this a giveaway? How is this a prize? How is this for the fans? You're selling them gifts. It'd be like if I had McDonald's gift card books and was like, I got some $50 gift cards. Will anybody give me 10 for them? You're fucking swappa. <laughs> I mean, it's cr it's crazy. There's not even a debate about it. Nothing this guy's doing is legal. He gets a lot for those VIPs. I don't know why. They should all be the same amount. You could go type a mushroom emoji. The first people get the prize. Why does it have to be super chat? You're not giving away prizes. You're grifting your fucking fans. This is all a scam. Prize night is a scam. He starts the night. He starts the night by going, guys, there's no goals for tonight. We're just having fun. Prize night's about giving back to the fans. Would it make you sick to know that he makes almost three times as much on a prize night than on a normal night. Sorry, he makes three times as much on a prize night than a normal day. Remember the $500 goal? He makes three times that on a prize night. Wow, Patrick, did you go through and count up all his donations? You're god damned right I did. And I have pie charts about it. I'm not, you picked the wrong fucking guy. I'm better at this than you and I've got nothing but time. I'm not clout chasing. I'm shooting a dragon out of the sky. This guy's a problem. Prize night tonight where he lets you know every donation he gets on Streamlabs, on PayPal, on Super Chats. He tells you how many members he has. He gives you all the data. All someone needs to do is put it in a spreadsheet and then we can see what this fucking guy is doing. And he's stealing. Ah! From his fans. Breaking the law. And again, Aaron, I swear to fucking God, if you're not breaking the law, do it again, tough guy. Do it again. I can't wait for your fucking March show. Do it again. Because I'll be in the chat. I live in Nevada, and if I can't be a part of that contest without making a purchase, every one of them... So tell April to get a new marker and some new scissors because she's been cutting out a lot of little slips of paper for you to put in your fucking bingo hopper to do drawings when everyone can enter free. You guys might have to build some sort of a website or some technology to do something with your show. You might have to fucking try instead of just yelling about how you do a real show all the time. Okay? You're fucked, dog. You're fucked. Listen to this fucking clown. Imagine following this. Imagine being able to follow it. Sick. This is for your Minnesota people. Sit back, enjoy the show. You'll learn something. <laughs>
If you want the 50, wait for the 50. If you want the 20, wait, do the 20. If you want the 10, go for the 10. I can't give you more than one. Who's Right Podcast says, I feel like I'm watching QVC. Like I said, if this is your first prize show ever, it gets a little hectic for the first half hour or so, and then we get into showtime. Steel Toe brightens my day. Steel Toe makes me laugh. We're going to do four $10 ones, and the only way to really organize I've got a bar chart like too, Moody. Cents or something. Uh, I've got a table, I've got a bar chart, and I've got a pie chart. I want you to be able to see the whole breakdown. So don't worry about it. I have all the charts. This is my first fucking rodeo. Patrick and Ben of the Darkness. This is amazing. Patty for Prez. Again, don't form unhealthy relationships with me. I'm probably stealing from you as we speak. Jay Hollingsworth, I feel like it's an honor to be a part of this from the beginning. Like we were the OGs. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're, look, if you got into the show during the Ty Rivera stuff, know that th that's not what the show, we just hop along to whatever needs to be hopped along to. I'm also high as fuck. I might be sensitive. You might be. Could I get everybody in the chat to please hit the like button? I'm not grifting for money. A lot of people have done super chats and donations tonight. Remember, I give you something back. We have an Aaron bot. Nobody likes onions.com slash tips. Moody will put the instructions in the chat on how to do it. Um, you know, you can at least make Aaron M. Holt say something on my show. I'll give you something and you'll be a part of the show. Make him insult me. I don't give a shit. I appreciate every dollar and they're all going to me and my ability to live. They're not prizes. I'm not tricking you. You're going to get nothing back from this other than me staying here later if I'm making money and getting uh, likes. So please, again, thumbs up. It costs nothing. We are probably going to go to a, to a members only show at some point, but again, it'll be a little bit. But I do appreciate all the support. I'm not looking to, I don't, I'm not sitting here going, if we don't get that gold and I, I can't live. Like if you all fucking disappeared tomorrow, I'd figure it out. I don't have a lot of kids to pay for and wives to feed. <laughs> I don't even feed the one I got because I'm hard. Uh, we'll just pick you. There's got to be a way to keep this orderly. If you want in at $20. I want to hear it. Now that you know the context of what he's doing, how you win the gift cards by donating different amounts, listen to his shit. Works. Go. We'll now, that's another thing we have to tell you guys. If you're new to the you. prize show, you can qualify as many times as you'd like. I'm a mark. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I want, like, my whole goal as a broadcast, some people have a goal as a broadcaster of, like, oh, the adrenaline and the fights and the this and that. And then the $250 drawing will be at 9 o'clock. I got three $10 gift cards to Midland. A buck, super chat, just so we know who you are. Works, go. Uh, five for 20, 10 for 50. One, one, five, and 10. Go. Donate one, five, or 10 to tell me which gift card you want to win. As if you're winning by donating. These guys are idiots. Go bananas. I've got one fifty, two twenties, and three tens. One, five, and 10. Go ahead. I'm taking first come, first serve. <laughs> If it's first come, first serve to donate, then how is it a drawing? You call it a prize drawing. But first come, first serve to donate specific amounts when specific cards? How's that work? Guess what? People also keep donating. So like 10 people will donate 10 trying to win it, and he'll just go, ah, only four of you win. The other 60 bucks, sorry. Better luck next time. Imagine donating 10, trying to win a $50 gift card, and, and you just got in late. And it's not like you got in late to a drawing, and now they're going to randomly pick somebody. No, 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 no. It was just an auction, and you sent your payment, but they were sold out when your payment got there, so fuck you now. I mean, this is, it's crazy. It's crazy, the grift, when you pull back the curtains and and get past all this confusing language and shit he it's all illegal it's all illegal and by the way hang low hanging fruit and jobbers in the podcast business we're shit we're e-beggars so we got a lot of people entered i know we got about a half hour 
until we draw for the $100 prize for VIPs. We're giving away $10 gift cards to Stonies. Now, this is for Minnesota people. Sit back, enjoy the show. You'll learn something. You'll if learn you something. Want the fifty. Wait for the fifty. If you want the twenty, wait. I, this again. This guy can't grow a beard. He thinks he read the YouTube guidelines. By the way, someone went and looked up the YouTube guidelines, and you you break those. You're breaking the YouTube guide. You could lose your whole channel if enough people complained. Do another drawing. I'm sure the dabblers will be fine with it. Do the twenty. If you want the ten, go for the ten. I can't give you more than one. Who's Right Podcast says, I feel like I'm watching QBC. Like I said, if this is your first prize show ever, it gets a little hectic for the first half hour or so, and then we get into showtime. Steel Toe brightens my day. Steel Toe makes me laugh. We're going to do four $10 ones, and the only way to really organize this is if you just throw in like 99 cents or something. The only way to give away these $10 ones is if you guys throw in 99 cents or something. If only there was something else you could type that would get my attention to let me know you want this giveaway, but Throw money at me. That's how you win the give. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Something. Uh, we'll just pick you. There's got to be a way to keep this orderly. If you want in, at $20 Super Chat, $15 PayPal gets you two of our uh, $8 uh, vinyl stickers here on the steel. Look at that sticker. As big as it is. Like, where would you put that? Your lunch pail? <laughs> like... You're ordering stickers for your show. You call them up. You're like, do you have full 8 by 11 sheets of paper? That's the size sticker we would like. Sir, we only print those for, like, the sides of cars to advertise a business. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want people to stick it on their car and advertise Steel Toe. Steel Toe, where'd my money go? Morning show. <laughs> Toe shop, but then also you get a free entry into a $250 drawing or VIP. Ultimately, you get to choose. It's your call. Yeah, I'm manifesting homosexuality. So I don't know if you catch this. He'll start peppering this in. Like, look, the winner of the $250, you can either get $250 cash or you can become a VIP. You let us keep the cash. You don't need the cash. We'll just give you a VIP membership. So that you can be in for the future hundred dollar drawings. You won the two hundred and fifty. Why don't you roll it over for your chance to win a hundred? Oh, what else do you get? Free tickets to any live show. Again, where are these terms printed? Just to any live show, because you go over to their website. You let's say you wanted to find out something about this show and the contests and how it all works. It's like a different kind of show. Comedy news, uncensored talk. Radio is dead. If radio's dead, why are you worried about amplifying signals and yelling that no one knows how to do radio anymore? I, this looks like it was put together by fucking amateurs. You click on live stream, it goes to their Twitch. It's like, no one cares over here. We're funded by you guys. Anything you can donate will appreciate it. Check us out on Twitter. Oh, wait, we haven't been there in a year and a half. We, The same guy who does Kumia's website does ours, and he's dead now. All their videos are like the oldest videos in the world. The Corey Adams steak video. And then when you get into their host, they're going to tell you how great everybody is. Remember, Corey Adams, great. Second mic on the show, never disappoints. Sexually superior in every way. Johnny Crutch's second mic does his best work sitting down. It's like, this is all from when? Live comedy shows. Don't forget to come check us out March 6th, 2021. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, where's your policies? Where's... Where's all the rules for VIP members? Where, you know, I get two free tickets to any show forever? Like, what if you guys become massive and you're playing Madison Square Garden? I just go up to the door and go, I'm a VIP guy from 2023. This is a sham. This is a house of cards. They've rushed everything except the product. The website shit. The background shit. 
The layout shit. The format is shit. The planning is shit. When they're on, it's fine. They are talented. They're all over the place. Prize night is shit. It's shit. Keep going. We have a really great show planned for tomorrow, too. I'm very excited. We got a lot of great stories for the prize show tonight as well. There's the rules for getting in the $250 drawing tonight. They are right there in the chat and pinned to the top of the page. All right, let's give away the national one. This one you can use wherever you are in the country. Ooh. And one more $5 gets you the last $25. Uh, Dabbler in Georgia, I cannot do these via PayPal. It's too difficult. I can only do the $250 drawing. Give Mr. Approachable a $50. He's taking the last one. I'm going to say uh, first four with 99 are going to get uh, $10 gift cards to Stoney's. The first four with $5 Super Chats will get $25 gift cards. And the first... We read the YouTube guy. Did you? And then what? Handily threw them out the window? <laughs> like... What part of the YouTube guidelines are you doing now? With $10 uh, Super Chats, first four, we'll get $50. Okay. We've got one $50 left. We've got three twenty-fives. Yes. That's what we... Now watch this. Fuck. Fuck. It's all new with less... <laughs> there is no price to be poking the mentally ill anymore. I here wants a 24 with 99 are going to get uh, $10 gift cards to Stoney's. The first four with $5 Super Chats will get $25 gift cards, and the first with $10 uh, Super Chats, first four, will get $50. Okay. We've got one $50 left. We've got three twenty-fives. Okay, he has one fifty left and three twenty-fives. What happens... Now listen. Listen how fucked this is. What happens is... Uh, an extra person tries to get the 50 but there was only one fifty. So... They go, oh, sorry, but there are three 25s, so they don't just give the 50 guy a 25. He's out. He has to try Oh, I like money. Oh, fuck yeah. Thanks. Um, so they don't, just, uh, they don't just give the guy who tried to win the 50 a 25. No, 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 no. He donated 10 to try to win the 50. He's got to donate five again to try to win the 25. It makes no sense. And then he goes, you know what? Give the 50 guy a 25. And then more people uh, roll in trying to win the 25. And they can't win the 25 because he gave one of the 25s to the 50 guy. It's all fucked. It's all over the place. Even if you were doing it according to the rules, you're fucking your own rules. So people are losing out. People are trying to get in. Extra donations come. And he's just like, oh, sorry, we're out of stuff. And they keep rolling in like, ah, oh. it's bad. It's all a scam. And for them to go on and be like, he's trying to say we're doing it. I'm not trying to say, motherfucker. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. You're ripping people off. I'm saying it. I'm not saying allegedly. You're scamming people. Run it again. Run it again, March. Run it again. If you're not breaking laws, run it again. Put on your steel to toes and run it again. You won't. You won't. You're going to talk to a lawyer and you're going to shit yourself is what you're going to do. I mean, 100%. Yes. That's what we've got left. So 10 bucks for the 50 to Stonies, 5 bucks for the 25 to Stonies. Uh, we'll get rid of all of those, and then we'll go to Midland Armory. Fire Ginger wants a 25. All right, so we're good. We're all caught up on our prizes. We're going to do our drawings in about 20 minutes, a little uh, over 20 minutes for the uh, VIP drawing. Remember, he just sold everybody gift cards at a discount, and he called them prizes. <laughs> That's the fuck. That's the hologram. And then uh, anyone who wants to qualify for uh, the two hundred fifty dollars drawing still can tonight and get their stickers. Uh, let's hit the like button. Where are we at? Are we gonna do two hundred on a prize show tonight? That would be fun. What a cuck. He goes. He goes. Are we gonna do? Are we gonna get? Let, hey, brother. Are we gonna get two hundred fifty on a prize show tonight? That would be fun. Why would that be fun for us? Nothing you do is fun. Stop saying fun. It's a, it's a verbal crutch now. Like, you can tell now, every time he says we're a fun show, we're having fun, it's like 
he's panicking. Like that's a that's a hundred percent a tick. Now, steel toe ticks. Hashtag steel toe ticks. Look for him. And then uh, anyone who wants to qualify for uh, the two hundred fifty dollars drawing still can tonight and get their stickers. Uh, let's hit the like button. Where are we at? And get their stickers. Yeah, everybody wants the stickers, man. We've been looking for new paper plates. Are we gonna do two hundred on a prize show tonight? That would be fun. That would be fun. What a cuck. We may have to do the VIP drawing and the member drawing back to back because uh, we went a little over. We did too much for you guys tonight. You didn't pay for that. I'm not going to be poking the mentally ill anymore. I've poked two mentally ill people in the history of this show. Uh, Also, hit the subscribe button as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. That helps us a ton. That really helps us grow. The Obster thought that I was just out of the shitting on people game and he thought he could take a little shot. I thought you were too. He didn't realize that I'm just out of the dealing with psychos game. So you've determined an OP OP. would be a compliment. You're not a psycho. This is a, this is a compliment. If anyone I shit on from now on, it's a compliment. Got it. All right. Uh, 105 likes is the number we're at. Uh, go ahead and like this video. Like the stream. Let's get it up to 200 before the end of the show. Uh, stop. It's done. Stop. Stop. It's done. Stop. It's done. Stop. 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 Let's do members now, and then we'll do a bunch of stories, and in 40 minutes, we'll do the $250 drawing. Uh, Yeah, Brandon's got it right. This guy gets it. Smash the like button, everybody. I swear this wasn't rigged. Cheetos! Cheetos. Now, if you become a VIP, $250 in a week, you get all three of our t-shirts, the hoodie, two of the stickers. You also get two tickets to every live event we do, including... You get two t-shirts, a hoodie, two of the stickers... It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Send mine directly to the incendiary, incendi, incendi, send it to Indiana. The anniversary show, August 12th. You also are entered in this $100 drawing once. Incender, incend, the month. And when new Cinderella new merch comes out, you get to claim a copy for yourself for free. All right. So Cheetos is the VIP winner. Got If you're a member, you got to watch these prize shows because you could win a hundred bucks. I mean, I you're five bucks a month and you could win a hundred bucks. Pretty sweet. That's almost two years of membership. Everything you could win could buy you so much more memberships and entries. <laughs> no, this sounds on the up and up. I think, go on, sir. Is this guy selling this to you off the back of a wagon? 213. Let's check 213. So there's 200, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, on we go. We got uh, about a half hour before we get to the $250 drawing. April, there's about 50 people in there. For some reason, the vibe I'm in, the mood I'm in, maybe it's because I got rid of all the, the cancer and whatnot surrounding this show. I'm just in too good of a mood. All right, well, guys, there you go. Uh, $20 Super Chat, $15 Streamlabs or PayPal gets you two. Uh, two of the five and a half inch vinyl steel toast. Look at that. They're matte. They're like on paper. He prints these himself. Like, uh, th- this is garbage. This is human gar. It's like a new podcast in 2004. Like, they haven't figured out merch. They haven't figured out broadcasting. They haven't figured out live events. They haven't figured out websites. They haven't figured out how to, how to, Put graphics on the screen. They, April's cutting up sheets of paper to tumble around to draw a winner. These guys are talking about, you know, getting a, a, a broadcasting to a bigger. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Everything about them is crazy. Go on. Stickers and then free entry into a $250 drawing, or you can become a VIP. It's your call. Wild card, get to your goddamn phone. There he is. All okay, right, thank God. All right, we got a winner. Woo! So what's what's 190 into tomorrow? Okay, so you guys are at 115. Uh, Hoshack with nine. He, he admonishes them and tells them, like, where, like, all right, you guys have 150 to go. It's like, why is everyone jumping through his hood? It's, it's, 
Insane. And there's some insight here in the chat I was seeing. Straight from a Minnesota Attorney General site. How to spot a scam. You're required to send money up front in order to receive a prize. Legitimate companies never require someone to pay money to receive a prize. And they sure don't invent buzzers. Like, again, they were looking for, like, there's got to be some way to orderly tell who wants the prizes. It's like, make, go, do a horse emoji. Now, go, go, go. Like, that's free and easy. But no, no, you're like, all right, what? let us know what prize you want by donating increments of $5. It's like, what the fuck? The cringe counter would explode, 100%. He thinks flashing light and goals, increasing numbers will hypnotize all his viewers. I mean, it is working. Aaron is nowhere near the level of Opie, yet he acts like equals. Yeah, he's delusional. Brace for some copyright strike or other similar shit from from Aaron. Bring it. I have lawyers. I'm I'm not new to this. I've had copyright strikes. I fight them. I have lawyers. I'm not broke. I have a lawyer. He's based in New York. He's a Jew. He's very good. So I send it. There's no copyright striking me for alerting the public to a predatory scam. How will this, like, I'd love, I'd, no Aaron voice. I'd love it. Oh, fucking thanks, Paul. Paul in uh, Glasgow. I'd like to bid for a chance to win a Rick's lunch plate or an NLO trapper keeper, please. Um, we'd love to get you one. And that's 499 pounds, too. So that really hits the bucket with a heavy clink. Part two, how to recognize a scam. You're asked to act quickly. Scam artists may say that there's a limited time to act in order to get people to pay money before they have time to think the situation through. He's going to try to silence this until you mention something he doesn't like. Where's my AI Aaron chat? Yeah, Paul wasted. He didn't do it. Um, That lady, they got, uh, that lady, they got the scam game covered then. If Opie still has his millions, he should not be bothering with live streams. Just sit by the pool with a beer. Yeah, who cares? Um, How did you get rid of, how do you get rid of a cancer? Who was the cancer around your show, Aaron? The cringe counter would explode. Yes, his fans are blind. They can do no wrong. Look, I, he, you guys are like, he's going to try to shut this up and copyright strike it. Again, even if you did, run another prize night. Run it. Run it. I'm guaranteeing you there won't be a prize. If there is a prize night, he's going to have to do it legit. You can never run it like this again. There are so many hoops to run a national legal sweepstakes slash lottery slash drawing. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're not even in compliance with Minnesota law. Fuck law. You're not in compliance with YouTube guidelines after bragging you are. He's gotten away from this for how long? Eight months. Eight months. Again, I showed up a week ago. What's happening? I hear the fucking walls crumbling. What's that noise? Oh, shit. Oh. It's all our money. It's our money coming through the ceiling. The government's here. Run, 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 run. This is not a drill. It's the money. It's coming. It's coming down. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is fine. This is fine. Nothing to worry about here. You think you've been swatted so far? Fucking strap in. It's like a Glengarry Glenn Ross movie. The salesman tell the mark that they've won a prize, but it's actually trying to sell them uh, real estate. Scalp. Uh, Yeah, I firmly believe Aaron is counting that cash with disdain for stupid audience that he can scam them like that. 100%. That's why he's trying to copy your channel. It's all the more motive. That's why. Oh, if he's trying to copyright your channel, it's all the more motivation to keep going. Oh, and FYI, I've worked in legal. He literally uses other people's content daily on his show. I'm not worried about it. Again, I have a lawyer. Like, I'm not worried about it. You have you have no time to be worrying about anything other than covering your ass for the 
By the way, it's per incident, these kind of fines and, and, and counts against you. And the incident isn't the number of drawings you've run. It's every person that you disenfranchised in that drawing. Everyone in the chat who didn't get an opportunity to enter because you didn't provide a correct way to not only enter, but you didn't provide correct policies and procedures, privacy policies for information. You're not a company, bro. You got April over there writing down winners on slips of paper just by their, their screen handle. What? Pirate's booties in for two? Okay. No, you're following all the guidelines. This is great. It needs to start with toe colon to be read out as uh, toe if you're going to do the tips. Moody, if you could keep scrolling that uh, message from the Nightbot every once in a while, that'd be great. Cut and paste. Patrick would love a copyright strike with Eddie Valentino. He got ready for it with Ty. I don't know who Eddie Valentino is. Oh, you're telling this guy? If he copyright strike this, he's definitely the next stuttering John. Retreat back to the woods with April in the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell i mean it's just like guys you one guy's breaking the law and the other one's pointing to it and you're like we're gonna copyright strike the guy pointing it's like okay again i live for this shit i'm not the guy who's gonna fucking like you can tap out i'm not tapping out because i'm not like just fucking around now you know what I mean? Like, you're a bad dude who's up to some bad shit. And I've discovered it. So no one's mad that you're running a fun show. No one's mad that your listeners are supporting you. I find it very insane. I find it insane and impressive. And you just simply being supportive for doing a show, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, Ginormous Uber driver. 199 says, will you sing I'm a genie in a bottle? Uh, no. No, I won't. Go on, Aaron. Finish it up. 99. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate that. Seven minutes to qualify yet, if you'd like to. A lot of people in there tonight. It's one of our bigger drawings. Our lo is our local mall getting shut down here um, in uh, St. Cloud? You can say, give me that fucking money. Uh, 157 <laughs> likes. All right, guys, let's hit the like button. How far away are we? Thanks for the uh, super chat. Uh, 12 minutes away from doing our uh, final drawing of the night. We've got a bunch of you qualified. Uh, 157 likes. Everybody hit the like button. And let's get it up to 200. Those are the kind of people we need to be hanging out with. Nerds and dorks and fun guys. All right, let's see which one of you are going to win. And then you have to decide, are you going to do $250? Or are you going to become a Steel Toe VIP? Matthew Ah, oh, I don't know. That's tough. $250 or become a Steel Toe VIP. Make your predictions now on what you think the winner is going to do, guys. Jenkins is our winner. He's still got to be in here, right? Matthew, do we want uh, cash? You want us just to send it to you today? Or do you want uh, or do you want to be a VIP? It's your call, buddy. You let us know right now, and we will make it so. He wants the money. All right, so okay. Matthew wants the money. We're going to send out all the cash prizes. Uh, guys, thank you very much. Prize night was a great night. We really appreciate it. I got a lot of counting to do. You guys thank are... Again, after every show, he tells you it was a great show. This was a great show. We were great. Prize night's awesome. I'm the best. This has been amazing. You guys loved it. <laughs> it's like, okay. We're pretty much through tomorrow morning's goal. You guys are great. Uh, as well, so that's pretty cool. It's been a really fun pretty cool. show today. We hope you've had a really good time. And uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button on your way out. Uh, thanks again. We hope you're all very happy. We got another prize show coming up next month. No, you don't. We got another prize show coming up next month. Okay. We're all looking forward to it. Prize show is going to be dope. Had to appreciate the shout out regardless. Yeah, no problems. No worries. Um, Anybody who, who super chats, I'll shout out your love or your hate. I don't give a shit. I'm on. You think I, I have two different piles of hate money and love money? I don't, you know, I don't even have a pile. I've done two AI Aaron chats and nothing. Who's running this steel toe? You're, you're not doing it right. I mean, 100%. Let me check my payments. 
Wow. I mean, in the tip message box, are you typing T-O-E colon and then a message? Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Earl. Thanks, Corey. Tell Moody your message, Aaron. Uh, uh, Private message Moody your message. He can make it say it. Moody has like a magic trigger. He can make the bot say anything, I believe. I do see your your two things coming in, but you're either not doing it right or it's broken. Moody, if you're making me rip off my... If you're making me take money from my listeners and not give them anything in return, then we are steel to... <laughs> um, no, you're not. I can see them, but I can fire them off for you. Fire them off. Give that man his just desserts. So how much money are they making on this scam? Fortunately, when they do these prize nights, they announce every uh, member they get. They announce every private donation they get through PayPal and Streamlabs. The same reason I'm sending you over to make tips through that link, I get a lot more of the cut. YouTube takes 30%. Now, don't worry, Aaron subtracts that off what he's earned from you, <laughs> so there will be no no mistakes. But, um, you know, he gets those privately. They don't pop up on the screen necessarily. So uh, just like like you guys, when you go make a donation off Super Chat system over on nobodylikesonions.com slash tips, it still comes up on the screen. I want to acknowledge it whether, whether you tip me here or there. And there I make more money, so of course I want to acknowledge it on the stream. It pops up. Not for him. He doesn't, there's no integration to do anything like that. So you don't know on a normal show when he's getting all these donations. And if he doesn't announce them, you didn't get them. You know what I mean? If nobody hears a tree fall, did it fall? Well, on the prize night, he's got no choice. He's got no choice. Now, this may be undercounting because, um, he may get small donations that he doesn't mention because those small donations don't make him make people eligible for drawings or prizes, so why would he bring it up if he's just getting a little, hey, dollar appreciation, $5 appreciation? I'm already paying 13 for the overdose, you ham hock. I told Moody to fire off your things. You have filtered chats on, Patrick? I do? Let's fix it. I don't want... I don't. Any percent in chat? Any pussy in the chat? There we go. Can you turn off that, Moody, or do I need to go do it? Chat bot, spam filters. No band words. Go for it. There's only there's link protection and nothing else. So go for it. That should work unless somebody's any pussy in the chat. You haven't given me access to your money? I don't know what that even fucking means. Why would you have access to my money? You have to do it. You haven't given me access to your money. I don't know what that means. That's crazy. Patrick, are you shocked to see this grift or have you seen this shit? I've never seen anything like this on YouTube. He's coming, he's coming from the Twitch world, which is much more embedded. You know, Super Chats are relatively new over on YouTube, a couple years. And he's coming from the Twitch world, so, he was so he's, he's a hamster in a cage just, you know, getting sugar water out of that feeder. And he doesn't know how to turn it off. And again, this guy's not big, so no one's caught. No one knows why, again... Eight months, no one's pointed this out. This guy's battled with everybody, and they're they're all just idiots, I guess. I don't know. This is a federal crime. It's not. There's no talking even about it. Um. So on a normal show, they want five. They want uh, you know, five hundred bucks, and they really pride themselves on these pride prize nights. Um, fuck it, I'm rich. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to start paying 26 a month for the overdose. This guy gets it. (laughs) 
It's not about the money. It's about the fun. Am I right? You're going to like the way you look. Um, let's get to it. How much money are they making on these prize shows? Now, remember, they brand this all as the prize show is for the fans. No goals, just fun, just giving back. Tonight's about giving back. Normally, we'll, we want to make 500 bucks for a show. Not tonight, guys. Not tonight. Tonight is about giving back to the fans. They're going to give $250 in cash. They're going to do $100. That's $350 in cash they have to give away. So if they don't make $350 tonight, they're going to be in trouble. And, you know, they normally want $500. There's no goals tonight. I make no promises to the complete accuracy of these numbers. As a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee you it's $20 up or down because foreign currencies, and who knows, I might have missed something or counted something twice. But I can promise you the margin of error is within 20 bucks, 30 bucks, somewhere in there. Also, don't listen to internet shows. They're all full of shit. But my boys down at the lab, in Super Chats alone, in official YouTube Super Chats alone, I sat there and counted every one of them, $724. $724. Well, that that sounds like they're doing very well. They, don't, they give $350 of that out if people remember to ask for it and send in their personal information to April to mail them a check. That's what they're doing over there. No privacy policy or, again, any policy that would dictate how that data is collected, stored, used, and passed on as per required by law. No, no, none of that stuff. $724 in Super Chats. Now I know you're like, that's a lot. We're not done. PayPal and Streamlabs, $520. New membership signups. Now, again, I'd love for you to become a member of this channel. It's $1.99. It's $1.99 to become a member. You get access to all live shows. There's no tiers. There's no levels. There are tiers and levels, but everybody gets access to everything. If you want to do $4.99 a month, you can. You want to do $9.99 a month, you can. I'd like you to sign up for $1.99 a month for all the live shows. If you're not going to do the overdose. I'd, overdose number one. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. Ten bucks a month. You get everything. Membership, $70. Seven new members is what they had. $724, $520, and $70. These, this is... What the boys down in the labs came up with for what they made last night alone. When you add this up, you get 12, what, 12, 44, 12, okay. So you add this up, you're going to get 13, 14. Now they have 300 members that pay $10 a month every month. That's $3,000 a month. So if they're making 1500 bucks on a prize show in one night, 1500 on a prize show in one night a month, 3000 for memberships a month. That's 40 4500 and then 2800 a week which comes out to over 11000. We're at 15 grand a month. We're on 15 grand a month is what this show is making. They've never done one thing to improve it. They're using graphics that are the most insane hacky podcast graphics. They're using the audio loop that came with that graphics package as their opening theme song. They have a banner that they printed three years ago that they've never thought to upgrade. No lighting, no studio upgrades, no no production upgrades. There's no one helping them. The website hasn't been updated in a year. And on top of all that, they're running a giant illegal scam every month that looks 
like they're giving back to their members while they're double dipping in both their members' pockets and their sponsors' pockets with the donated gift certificates. This is unprecedented. It's unprecedented stuff. You got to be kidding me. This is fun. It's all out of the goodness of our hearts. Steel Toe has a Patreon. Yeah, they have a Patreon. And then he just goes, that's not even for anything, just for people who want to give us money. It's like, <coughs> it's some of the most bizarre stuff. So just again, the breakdown on this stuff. He pays 800 a month for child support. Cheap fuck. Wow. Um, there's more money with super chats, nor even used in the ra- There's more money with the super chats, not even used in the raffle drawing. Correct. I think he says he subtracts memberships from the monthly total goal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. You're mistaken. He subtracts memberships from the monthly total goal by, he did the math on one of the things like, we take the number of members divided by the number of shows. We tra- so he'll like subtract thirteen dollars off the daily goal because me- it's like it's all bullshit. He confuses you so that you think he's helping you out, and you know what? We'll even put that towards tomorrow's goal. Meanwhile, he's subtracting YouTube's cut. He's ripping off his sponsors. Like this is wild, wild shit. So there you go. Just so you can see the chart. Moody said that a a pie chart wouldn't be good, but if you want a pie chart, I got one. Um, so there you go. That's the money. That's the breakdown. And you'll only see this when he, when he reveals it all, which means if he goes to, to future, you know, not doing, he can't do a prize show again, the way he's done it. He can't. He pulled the long con on these Minnesota people, and that goodwill has spread. <laughs> They'll catch on. I, I think people are going to wake up to the fact that, like, holy shit, I've given this podcast hundreds of dollars in months. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> you didn't even include a legend. Get real. I'd have. I'd rather have the long corn, people are saying. I also... Uh, Got an interesting message from someone who had some private messages with Aaron that they wish to share. No one else has these. And uh, the source is a uh, known dabbler, Soft Weekly. Um, I imagine some people in the dabble verse know Soft Weekly. He's in the uh, Aaron M. Holt steel toe chat all the time. Aaron talks to him all the time. Aaron was conversing with him live on the show tonight while he was sending me screenshots of everything Aaron had to say, betraying him right to his face. And I said, do you want these anonymous? He says, he's going to know, so just tell him Soft Weekly sent ya. Now imagine me a week ago discovering a guy who's had Dabbleverse people watching him for months. You've had months to win these people over. You get in a feud with Chad. I become aware of it. And within a week, your people are betraying you, messaging me what's going on with you. What did you do to deserve that? Am I that charming? Am I that attractive? Did I send somebody a picture on my dick? Why would they run to me and go, look what Aaron said? Oh, you're losing them. You're losing them. 25% of the show is math. 50% is vegging. 25% is content. Holy fucking shit, man. A few New Yorkers and Boston people are on to him now. So Soft Weekly was messaging with Steel Toe. <sighs> and we are going to learn some new in- info tonight. Um, now, he's ca- Aaron's careful. He's not going to say anything crazy. But, oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> I 
Again, these are courtesy of Soft Weekly, who is organizing a big Aaron Revolt next week. So uh, make sure you keep up with Soft Weekly uh, for all your anti-Aaron M. Holt needs. Don't forget the two moderator. Uh, don't forget the two moderator who wish to remain anonymous. Yes, yes. Also, I only have one moderator messaging me. Um, ha ha ha! Good for him. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh shit! You doing Hannibal? I'm B A Baraka. Okay. Um, here we go. Soft Weekly says you got a second to talk, and Aaron replies, "What's up, pal?" And Soft Weekly says, seriously, NLO is doing is diving deep. Based on what I know, you filed for divorce four years ago from today. Happy anniversary. You married April in Vegas two and a half years later. Uh, things I've learned led me to believe you didn't cheat on your wife with April. I'd say that in public. But what happened? I'm not trying to dig up your life, but it's done now. These guys are going to get it all. Being divorced doesn't make you a bad guy. I would really hate it if NLO scooped me. <laughs> Imagine messaging this guy like, you might as well tell me. You don't want NLO to get it and then send it to NLO. We got him. Oh, it makes me so fucking happy. It makes me so fucking happy. Uh, and then what does he say? Let's have a look. Nothing happened. I got divorced because I was miserable. Unfortunately, during the process of divorce, an oops kid happened. An oops kid? Ha! Gay! We both moved on, split the kids 50-50. I met April and have a better family now. What amazes me is that any of these people would listen to the show for five minutes. I've talked about all of these things, whether back during the radio days or streaming. As, for, as far as Patrick goes, let's be real. You don't want to look up to that guy. How fucking dare you? Am I that bad? You are a rude, terrible person. Great point. Go on. So then Soft Weekly says, you don't ever have to worry about me even worrying about your kids' names. I'm not that guy. And by the way, I'm not either. No one cares about your fucking kids. They're not that special. Everyone has kids. No one's trying to get your fucking kids, you dork. So what's got him spooked? What's got him spooked? Soft Weekly says, you don't ever have to worry about me even worrying about your kids' name. I'm... Nothing happened. I got divorced because I was miserable. Unfortunately, during the process of divorce, an oops kid happened. We both moved on, split the kids 50-50. I met April and have a better family now. Woo! I was going to ask you to do that, Moody, but I wasn't sure. I love that Aaron tipped that. That's nice. <laughs> um, You don't ever have to worry about me or even... Uh, even worrying about your kid's name, I'm not that guy. And then what does Aaron say? Woo! Two paragraphs. I call them paragraphs when they come from Aaron. There's nothing any of you are digging up that we haven't joked about on the show before. Yeah! We only tapped out of Chad because a third party was being brought up and he was lying about telling him stuff which leads her to perhaps want to pursue her legal options. I can only say what I've heard from lawyers. Thus, the warning to Bob, because he is a friend. He isn't anymore. Did you hear today? It was vague because I don't know a whole lot about what the third party plans to do. I have no say in the matter. My mistake was not having the vision to see what little girls everyone was going to be about it. Oh, well. We have never tried to shut down a subreddit, even mentioned it on air, and laughed at it. The only thing we've blocked and moved on is kids and ex-wife stuff. We want zero part of that on the show. People are saying he's joking about an unwanted, an unwanted kid. 
Aaron TTS. Nice. Yeah, you can, anybody can tip 333 and make Aaron say anything. It's great. Did they cut the kids in half vertically or horizontally? Miserable, but still fucking her. <laughs> yeah, he's just not clear about the, um, about the oops kid. Because he says, nothing happened. I got a divorce when I was miserable. I got divorced because I was miserable. Unfortunately, during the process of divorce, an oops kid happened with his wife? With the wife he was leaving? So maybe he was separated. Look, again, none of this matters. Like, I'm not a morality guy. Like, everybody makes mistakes. But we're learning. We're learning. And then for him to say... um, There's nothing you're digging up. You do have to refresh stuff. When you get a new audience, hey, dummy radio guy who tells everybody the weather every 12 minutes and resets. When you get a new audience, you do have to give the same information over and over again. The same way you tell everybody there's a drawing coming up at 9, 38 times in two hours. But now you're like, I don't want to repeat it. I said it all on the radio years ago. It's like, well, we're new here. You're nobody. We only tapped out of Chad because a third party was being brought up and he was lying about her telling him stuff, which leads to her to perhaps want to pursue her legal options. What he's saying is we only tapped out of Chad because Chad was saying he was, uh, the third party has to be Ashley LaRue, right? His ex. We only tapped out of Chad because Chad was saying he was talking to my ex. And he was lying about her telling him stuff, which leads to her perhaps wanting to pursue legal options. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with you? If he's out saying stuff about her that's not true and she sues him, how does that hurt you? How does that put you at risk? I love the fact that you're willing to run four illegal lotteries in one night on your stream, a federal crime. But you're not... But you're terrified of your ex-wife suing a guy you hate? How's that work? None of this adds up. This is the part that doesn't make sense. She's going to sue the guy that you hate. This ought to be great for you. It's like, by the way, MLC's talked about it. Nine other podcasters have talked about it. I've talked about it. You have two kids. You got your wife pregnant while you were leaving her. Ashley LaRue writes books for kids coping with horrible home situations. These are all facts. Who's suing? This is your life. Who's suing? What, what's the, you know, what's the cause? What's the charge? Where do I go, officer? Like, what? You're, you're in a fantasy world. No one's buying that. I warned Bob because he's a friend. You warned Bob that... Ashley was going to sue Chad, maybe? What's going on? What's going on? There's nothing that's happened. There's no laws. We got one more. I'll never worry about your kids. I have way more kids than you. The ex-wife is fair game if she decides to talk. Isn't that the catch, though? Did she talk? Chad says she did in the conversations that now I have to have in my life. The claim is she did not. So he's saying, did she talk? Chad says she did. But now I had to go ask her if she did, and she said no. Again, then where's this lawsuit coming from? She didn't talk. Chad said she did, or she might, and it's not true. So are you suing Chad for lying? Is she suing Chad for lying? This this makes no sense. It's more confusing than not getting any information. Bob is no friend of Aaron. Uh, They just met literally two months ago, and Bob already doesn't trust him. Yeah, Bob said today, it's like, it's like I don't forget anything. I know what he is now. 
and we move on. Yeah, I agree. No one's mad at Aaron. No one's mad at Aaron and April. We can't just let them do a fun show. Leave them alone. Let them do their fun show. Go do your fun show. You're hurting people. You're hurting. By the way, it's the same reason I went after Tyre Vera. It's like you're you're hurting my local comedy scene, and I, I'm not cool with that. You're taking advantage of you of of YouTube audience members, and I'm not cool with that. We're all out here begging for money. We're all out here grifting for money. We'd all like donations. Please give. By the way, hit like. You know, there's 80 of you watching. I'd love you to hit thumbs up, thumbs down. Help the algorithm. Get them in here. We got to reach the goal. He ran his mouth to Bob and backpedaled. Aaron thought he could message Bob and manipulate him. It didn't work. 100%. 100%. He thinks he can manipulate everybody. I see it. The thing is, you're not smart enough. I don't care, you know, if you, if you were magna cum laude in Minneapolis. You're, you're not a bright guy. To be, to be told you're running an illegal lottery and for your first response to be, yeah, right, we checked the YouTube guidelines. It's like, you guys are out of it, man. You're out of it as fuck. Not, not only, like, everything you do related to the entertainment side of the radio is dated as fuck. Everything about the business is dated as fuck. And the thing is, like, people come in and, they like, you could have had friends and people could have helped you. No, 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 no. You attack everybody because you think you're this mean radio guy. Why are your, why are so many people on right now? Do you ever do earlier shows, Pat? Sometimes, not really. I like nights. I like nights. I like to sleep in. I like to get my shit done during the day. I've been editing these videos. I've got to. I got to take a couple days, and I know I say that, and I'll be back on here tomorrow night. But I got to take some time and put up my regular show like I'm not putting up regular shows cuz I'm I'm in full Aaron M Holt steel toe special mode and we're cranking them out Th- over 30 hours of content in a week that's what this guy is scared of this guy knows I'm prolific this guy knows I know what the fuck I'm talking about this guy knows I'm the opposite of crazy and unbalanced I'm hyper focused I'm very balanced I do, I've done this before. You're not my first guy that I'm going to leave in a ditch. Remember when you went after Chad and you were like, you're our project now. We're going to be there every time you turn around. We're going to be there making your life miserable. It's like, that's psycho. That's mentally insane. That's unbalanced. So that's me. I'm here and you're my project now. Run your prize show. Run it. Run your prize show. I'm pretty sure we can retroactively go back to and everybody would be entitled to some form of compensation. But literally all the Tojos could own Steel Toe and just pull it right out from underneath you. It's it's nuts. Patrick equals a very stable genius. You can drink at night, morning, not so much. Yeah, and I don't drink a lot. Look, I had I had a vodka. Not getting wild. I don't want headaches and an upset stomach. I'm here because I can't believe this shit. It's it's wild, and it keeps going dig, di- deeper and deeper. Chad's after you're you're just talking about your kids and your ex wife. Your business is a sham. Focus. You got bigger fish to fry right now, Aaron. And I love that you're aware it's coming because you got on that stream tonight like. We're, we, YouTube guidelines. We did the, we, we, we checked it out. We're giving, oh, we can't give away to our people. That's how you're going to spend this. He's mad that we're giving back. He's mad that we're giving back. You're making three times as much on prize night. Giving back. You're scamming people and you're using shitty stickers as bait. Um... That lady says that's what he's done to even mentally handicapped people dating back to the Twitch days. Imagine how a mentally handicapped person would act towards that manipulation. I can't. I can't. So now he's saying that Chad didn't talk to her 
Um, I, and now I had to ask her, and she claimed she didn't. So what are you scared of? What's the big trouble coming down the pipe that you had to warn Bob about? I cannot say more than that, man. Sorry, right now I'm out of any back. Uh, I am out of any backlash, and I want to keep it that way. Not YouTube backlash, mind you. Oh, good. You guys over on Reddit, do you? Uh, if it doesn't get fucky, I don't think we have any problems. You guys can hate whatever you want. You seem like a decent enough dude. He sent me all the DMs. <laughs> you seem like a decent enough dude who just wants to root against us. No crime in that. I love that he's like almost threatening the Reddit. He's like, as long as nothing gets fucky, it's like, who's writing these definitions of how things get? As long, as long as nothing gets too fucky over there, it's like, okay. Hey, guys, Aaron said we can't get too fucky with it, okay? Let's not get too fucky. Is Chad's podcast live tomorrow? Yeah, Earl Skakel, Patrick Melton on Sit Down Zumok live tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. I can't imagine attacking a retarded person. <laughs> it, it grows on you. Uh, disability cash. Oh, he was taking somebody's disability cash. Aaron was harassing a disabled woman online. <sighs> I believe it. Uh, you know, after today, I believe nothing. He's out. He's out telling people Patrick's chasing clout. Patrick wants to get on this show. You know, we're going to leave Patrick alone. He seems a little unstable, so we're going to leave him out of this one. Meanwhile, it's like, here's the receipts. You keep asking me to be on. I've, no I've known your name a week, and you keep asking me to do your show. I laugh in your face, and then you say, Melton's trying to get on the show. We're not going to let him. I've never met a bigger fucking liar. We checked the YouTube guidelines. Stop breaking the law, asshole! <laughs> we checked the YouTube guidelines. Yeah, you checked them. You're still not in compliance. I mean, it's it's wild. Uh, let's get back to watching the prize show a little bit. I think this will be fun. It's prize night. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, it's the prize. Because I know we watched the Supercut. This is the actual prize night. Prize show. Hey. Oh, boy. Here we go. Get ready. It and then, and then, like, as if, like, whipped cream on the cherry sundae that is this fucking out of it. He He's like, um, oh, boy. Prize night gets crazy. I pro He says it. You guys saw it in the Supercut. <sighs> guys, you know, it gets wild. I'm not overselling it prize nights are wild it's like we're supposed to leave you this like you know fuck magnet that like hollows april out and you think a wild night is a game night without the games your idea of a wild night is you and april ripping up little strips of paper going 14 in the th in the third like an auctioneer on steroids <laughs> like uh, okay if you've never been with us for a prize show we still talk about stuff we still get into news and, and entertainment and stuff like that but it's also the night we give away hundreds of dollars in prizes to our audience uh give away a bunch of stickers you make over a thousand you don't give away you rake people over the coals to fill a bucket, and then you splash a little bit back their way. Illegally. Call it what it is. You know, the nice thing about the $250 slash VIP drawing, we always let people know that. You can uh, you can take the cash, uh, or you can decide you want to become a VIP, which you probably get $150. Bucks <laughs> not, Shut up! It's not the $250 bucks cash, but you get a $100 drawing every month. You get two tickets to every show we do. Some people prefer just, hey, give me the cash. Remember, the last show on their website is March 2021. It's March 2023. You get tickets to all the live shows, all zero of them, no matter where you have them. 
all over the country, all your live shows. Yeah, and at the door, you only have to donate for tickets half the half the amount. If you're a VIP at the door, you're asked to put into the. You don't have to, but you'll be added to the for the VIP for the second for the member drawing for the absolute for the what? Times are you know times are all fucky right now, and then other people are like, oh, I've been wanting to- Reddit's fucky. Times are fucky. This guy is a seven year old. He probably he probably causes dumb poo poos. Like, things are getting fucky. It's like, ugh. She puts her dick in your mouth? <laughs> she puts her dick in your mouth? Come on. To be a VIP to this show for a long time, I'll take it now. So, totally your call at the end of the night, but here are the rules, and God damn it, uh, I got to get into the rules now. Now, there is no price. Here are the rules, and God damn it, I got to get into the rules. Go on, you're a pro. To get into the $250 drawing. If you throw in, here's the the rules. I'll put them in the chat right now. $20 Super Chats or $15 Streamlabs and PayPal. And that's just to make up the difference in the percentages for YouTube. We just give you two. Here's one. You got it. We just give you. Did you hear that? $20, $20 Super Chats or $15 on PayPal. We just give you. This would look bad in court. Go on. What do you give me? We send you. You send us your contact information. We send you two of these. Eight bucks on. Again, the data privacy thing is probably another law. Like, that's another federal law for these things. And states have even more stringent ones. Again, a lot of times you'll see, like, residents of Hawaii, Florida, Nevada, Massachusetts not eligible. There's... Certain laws in those states that require very, very stringent uh, KYC uh, regulations, know your customer regulations, and data handling for those procedures. You've got to be in like PCI compliance. With st- it's like there's a lot of stuff that goes into running this side of a business that they have no clue. They can't get their streaming page to show the platform that they're on. If you go to their website, you'd assume they're still on Twitch. I mean, these guys are just switched off. If it's not about making immediate money, they're not into it. We're not updating the website. Same way with E-Rock. He'd rather be in their room going, you guys are great, than updating the website. Your website's over a year out of date. It's embarrassing, Compound. No, no, no. I'm a mark in the chat room. She's got her push-up bra on. Uh, There's a very low-cut shirt. She flaunts in front of the camera. Oh, I had no idea my tits were exposed yesterday. I had no idea. I dressed up like I was going clubbing at 6 a.m. Yeah, that lady, she said that this morning. She had no idea. There's layers of manipulation here, 100%. There, the thing is, like, when dumb people play dumb, it's, re, it's dumb squared. You know what I mean? Like, they're dumb, but they know what they're doing. Like, they know what they're doing to people but they're fucking retarded. So like they don't know how to cover their tracks or like really do it. And luckily like their core audience is all Minnesota dopes. Again, one of them was so mad at me for exposing them that they, he said he was going to come down to Vegas and beat my ass. He said, if I have to get a job down there, I will. It's like, you have to get a job to beat ass. Jesus fucking Christ. That sounds fucking bad. When do I start? You better look out. <laughs> the store, we just give you two of them, send them out, and uh, that's for, and you qualify. We give you two of them, and you qualify. Go on. Qualify for the $250 slash VIP drawing. So there you go. It's a way to kind of, uh, y- you know, to get people, uh, you know, putting those stickers all over the place. Getting it's it- not a way to get people to put stickers all over the place. Again, imagine paying $8 for a sticker. Imagine paying $8 for a sticker. (laughs) Are we, do you think we're all dumb? Kids are stupid. I mean, in what world? In to get a big prize. And uh, also, uh, it helps take the pressure off kind of the rest of the week. We have no goals tonight. None of that. It's great. So thank you guys very much. You don't need goals when you're pretending to be the state lottery of Minnesota. (laughs) 
much. Let's get to work because we got people throwing in already. April, uh, if you guys have never been here for a prize show, I'm telling you, I'm not overselling it. I sit here looking at my phone, reading off the people who have qualified. The first 15, 20 minutes of a prize show, I, I'd say are retarded. It's retarded, but it's it fun. It gets right? <laughs> insane. We also have some YouTube stuff to talk to you guys about. Uh, we're going to be giving away uh, basically uh, $10... Uh, to Stoney's and $10 to Midland Armory. Stoney's is local. Midland Armory is national. Uh, the 10 bucks will go for, you know, we just have those, you know, I think uh, a buck for the $10 just so we can keep straight who wants them. Uh, we'll probably just go five for the 25 and 10 for the 50. Again, how do you think Stoney's would feel about that? Yeah, we're going to give you four $50 uh Gift cards to give away on your show to promote Stonies. Cool. We'll just charge people ten bucks for those. Oh, okay. Uh, for Stonies and Midland, don't do that now, though. I will not honor them. We're not giving them away yet. Those come a little later. Uh, as far as the drawings go, we'll that, do eight o'clock. That's kind of a tell too. He does this thing where he's like, "All right, we're giving away Stony gift cards to the first ten dollar donations." Then a couple people will do it and they'll go, "Not yet, not yet. Those don't count. We're not doing them yet." And it's like. I mean, there's a lot of layers of weird fucking his fans over on this. A lot. For the VIP. You guys have donated 44 bucks tonight. Thanks so much. Please, if you don't know this, if you're a VIP, you get entered in a $100 drawing for these prize shows every month. Uh, we'll do that at 8 o'clock for the VIPs. VIPs don't have to be here to win. Ah! Members do. We'll do the $250 drawing. So if you become a member tonight, you are in. Uh, we will not go through the members list until we draw at 8.30. So if you become a member of this channel, it's 5 bucks a month. Uh, if you become a member, uh, we put you in the $100 drawing tonight. And also, if you continue being a member, we take the number of members we have every month, divide it by the amount of shows we do, and we <laughs> knock that much off the daily goal. So Imagine trying to do that um, math. So thank you guys very yes. much for all of your support. All right, let's get in here, and let's see what we've got. Uh, April? I'm ready. All right. Strippers <sighs> Band is in for one qualifier in the drawing. And, April, anything over 40 qualifiers tonight goes towards tomorrow. Is he going to quit the job after he's beating your ass? Right. Lots of construction uh, for the F1 Lee race. is qualified. Thank Meat you. Drapes is qualified. Wild Card is qualified. So he calls it qualified for the drawing, which means you've given him $20. <laughs> Sorry, bought stickers. It's deep is qualified, and that's just on the PayPal end. All right, let's get, to, uh, let's get to the YouTube end of things here. Kyle W. says, I like stickers. Remember to get a hold of April uh, if you want those stickers. Some people just want to qualify. They forget about the stickers. Just, yes. Again, like, imagine a show. That does this every month, not putting together some sort of a website or application to automate this process. Now, they're fucking idiots, so they don't, you know, they can't make a website that has words on it. So why would they be able to nail any sort of functional web app? But there's a million different services you could stitch together, um, you know, with like Zapier and, and fucking... Anybody could hammer, anybody with any rudimentary knowledge could hammer together some sort of SaaS application to collect their fans' information, register them in a contest, get them to, to sign off on, uh, you know, GDPR stuff and data, you know, storage and handling policies and all this stuff. All the rules and regulations, a way to enter without giving any money all this stuff could be on a page go into an application automatically select winners all this stuff no 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 april's writing down things on a pad they're screaming out meat drapes is in for four and you know everybody's just and don't forget if you do enter the drawing sorry buy stickers contact april just send april an email and be like i, I ordered stickers with your with your address so she can send you the stickers, a lot of people forget about the stickers. It's like, 
Yeah, of course people forget about the stickers. You're grifting them for a drawing. That's what we're doing. Uh, it's just, this is nightmarish. Imagine eight months and this is how you do it. But why would you put any money or thought into the show? We do a fun show. If you if you bought anything tonight yeah. or if you want anything, please message me. The mods will be putting my information yeah. in the chat. Get in touch. If you bought anything or want anything, message me. I'll have a, I'll have a club soda on the rock. Touch with April. She will send that stuff out to you. So Kyle W. Curly Adam won in. And uh, fuck you, dude, for two. He says, get a good face and beard wash as well as a scruff cream to deal with the itch. It's well worth it. Also, I want to steel entry. toe shell you, game. That's a great. You if you're new Thank to the prize you. show, you can qualify as many times as you'd like. Uh, Tigger next door with twenty bucks says, "God, I hate this show." New boot. Steel toe is a math uh, I like show. Sean's View Entertainment. He's been leaving a lot of comments on our stuff. I've seen him before, but I feel like he's just kind of getting into the show regularly now. Okay. Uh, he's been, had a lot of complimentary uh, complimentary things to say. About uh, the look at these donations. So look I how it appreciate works. Appreciate that, Sean. If this is your first time here, please do enjoy putting up a poll with twenty bucks. He wants in the VIP slash two hundred fifty dollar drawing. He's getting himself two free stickers. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> I've got Thanks, my phone is so he wants in the two hundred fifty dollar drawing, and he's getting two free stickers. I thought you were buying the stickers and getting the free drawing. Again, this is not going to look great when the DA gets a hold of it. Going fucking bananas over here. I know. Uh, Zen Rhino is entered in the drawing. Also, April Zen Rhino uh, sent me a gift for you. Really? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a gift on tonight. And the thing, I, I, a lot of people will say this. I'll cut this off at the path. A lot of people will say, in defense of them, or they'll say, "Yeah, right. We're just a little show." Give it. I love like. When they're beating people up, we're a big show. Like, look at your little stupid show. This will be like, we're a little show giving away, you know, just rewards for our members. No one's going to pay attention to this. It's like, if you know anything about anything, you know consumer protection laws are some of the most aggressively prosecuted and defended cases in the country. Consumer protection laws and consumer rights laws, which this falls under the umbrella of, are there to protect the general public from being bamboozled by swindlers like this. That's what they're there for. And they're the most paid attention to laws from people, from individuals in the world. So if you think some attorney wouldn't be willing to put together a class action to nip this in the bud immediately, go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Again, I'm really looking forward to the next one, man. You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss. Nice show that I got oh. from Zen Rhino. You'll really enjoy it. Will I? I think you're really going to like I'm it. I'm nervous now. Yeah, no. Big fines also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per incident. Per incident. You know, like, the amount of stuff that comes into play with, with it's not just the drawing. It's like, I think there's, like, COPPA violations and stuff. It's like, how do you know that you don't have an underage kid in there signing up for that? Like, they can't commit to a contract for a game, to a... There's so much shit that's above your head, Steel Toe. Oh, we're just a fun show. We're just giving out some stuff. You're going to jail. Like, this is big, big stuff. No, no, don't, don't be if, nervous. I have a bunch of messages to open it's, from him. I'm sorry. It's, it's going to be, he sends a lot of good stuff. Okay. Uh, Brandon Can't Lose from the BYB podcast. He wants in the drawing and he wants his stickers. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> he wants his stickers. Thank you very much. Uh, you got Nobody wants those stickers. A second. And Aaron DeTires, our buddy Aaron DeTires. Great to see him here. A lot Thanks, of names Aaron. from Twitch still here. I'm going to go oh, buy some stickers. We appreciate that, Gotta guys. love them. They always support us. Somebody uh, please order some Steel Toe stickers and send them to our P.O. box. It's on our website, uh, nobodylikesonions.com. Uh, 20. He loves you, too. For that drawing. Uh, Joe Berger. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, put him in there. He'll, he'll, he'll do it. He's I good he for will. it. He's fine. 
Uh, Zen Rhino says, Aaron, don't forget about the Streamlabs PayPal donations have messages sometimes. You are right, buddy. I got to open up the Streamlabs, not just the PayPal. You are correct. God, these guys. Sometimes I forget how many places I have to collect money from you idiots. You keep, you guys keep me young. You guys keep me young. But <laughs> uh, I, I tell you what, on prize shows, I am a mess to begin with. So Please. thank you. Guys, don't even come up to me on a prize night, right? I'm all, I'm a bundle of nerves over here. Who knows how much we could make our goal, all this shit. I tweeted today, the greatest tick, trick the devil, devil, fuck. I just had a little stroke there. Um, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing listeners to reach our goal. Thank you guys. Are you not spry tonight? I'm trying to be spry. I'm half blind. Uh, Zen Rhino says this episode of the April and not April show is pretty funny so far. Thank you, Zen. Thank you very much, Zen. <laughs> so we're nine minutes in. They've done nothing but set up the thing, and they're like, this show's been pretty funny. That's the listeners we're dealing with. That's the listeners we're dealing with. They've watched Aaron scramble putting the show together to do the giveaways with the prizes and check the PayPal and the Streamlabs, and people are like, this show is funny. This show is good. It's very much appreciated. All right, All right. I, got, I got more to get through here. Cape. You're not done. Uh, Samuel, I agree with your sentiment. Put Samuel W. in. Thanks, uh, buddy. Put Yule Gibbons in. Ooh. There Hello. you go. Thank I you, like guys. I like money. And we have a shitload of people qualifying already. Lemmy wants in. She says, gays, Jews, God, you guys struggling. are qualifying. So and good. Nice. Thank, Thank you, you for the buck 49. That's very nice of you. <laughs> All right. Let's try to catch Ooh, up with the chat a little bit before we get into more prize winners. More uh, prizes, Larry guys. King's fingernail says, We're going to close the ball. Jay's trying a little too hard to ride our coattails these days, but that's all right. I get it. We said that going to this level is not really for us, so we spun out and we're doing our own thing. And a lot of people wanted us to stick around. We didn't. What do you do? I, they seem to be taking it a lot harder than I do. It's like, again, you can't mention every show how you're done with it. Every show. Yeah, they wanted us to keep doing it. We said they were done with it. We didn't know they were such little girls. It's like, this cope is monumental. I've never seen anyone go, yeah, we quit, and they just act like little pussies. It's like, you're the pussies. In what world are you not the babies? No one's even done anything to you. This Jake Hudson uh, guy was called a retard by Aaron and stopped watching Steel Toe. I wonder how much uh, they scammed out of him. Oh, he did J-Dub. He's the only one. He, oh, he the one who's mentally unstable. Are you sure about that? Can't stand people who talk too much and make shit so weird like this. I don't know who DSP is. He's one of the people who ordered shirts, too, and still hasn't gotten them. Yeah, I mean, April sending them out. So I imagine she wrote it on a tiny slip of paper, and the order got lost. Their whole store is, email me if you want anything. <laughs> Hit that like button. Daddy needs it. Uh, Upset Duck says, Aaron, couple of questions. How do you value... You're what you contribute of to at the workforce. Second part, at which do you most can't the least? <laughs> you, how do you, you fucker. How do you, start? you just wanted me to try to read that, didn't you? <laughs> Softcast says, can I still get a mic check or are you ignoring me now? My, dude, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been reading your stuff all the time. We're busy. Uh, this is says, Baby Shark! I'm not considering most of these people friends anymore. What we learned in this whole thing was nobody's. Yeah, you know what? We should have listened to Mersh. These people aren't your friends. Nobody's your friend. Who's Mersh? I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. <laughs> Who's Mersh? Like they're one of their listeners? Uh, I think they did put Jake through a lot, but I'm not sure the detail. Enough about Jake. Look, I think Mersh and Royce are great. I won't Mersh consider us friends Royce? until we go down. <laughs> Is that real? 
to Clearwater and go to Hogan's Hangout together. I fucking agree. I second that notion. I'm not going to. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, fucking ROTC is, like, so big in some circles that fucking those two go to Hogan's Hangout and Hogan goes, I heard you talking shit about me on YouTube, brother. That would be funny. (laughs) I'd leave those two at the door so fucking quick to hang out with the Hulkster. I'm a mark. You fucking mark. Exactly. Fingers crossed we hear back. Uh, David Chandler says, I don't want in. I just felt left out. Put David Chandler in. You're in, and with him, that's... Mersh is a shameless way, grifter, David, too. He has milked Zen Rhino a more. thousand. Uh, okay. <laughs> with 999 says, sorry, here you go. I don't know who Zen Rhino is. They all sound like idiots. You're in there, buddy. Uh, Matthew Jenkins with 20 bucks says, I need those stickers. Uh, fe- Nobody needs these stickers. What planet? What planet? Nobody needs these stickers. You guys are not... I need everybody to to get a grip on themselves. All these comedians nobody knows. Patrick, how do you not know Mersh? It's like... He's a... Is a YouTube? Is a show? Like... I don't go YouTubing for shows. This MLC, Kumia, I'm not in it. I know you guys are all like, how do you not know who the dabblers are? I'm I'm retarded at this stuff. And by the way, I'll be out in a minute. So don't bother becoming friends. <laughs> how do you not know Mersh? How do you not know DSP? How do you not know Watapa? Like what? <laughs> Phoenix uh, with $14.88 says this bit will never die. April, get ready for the 512. It's yes. coming and throw Phoenix. In Thank you. the drawing. Is that your favorite redhead? Yeah. By the way, uh, he's reviving the Wow yeah, sticker days. Oh, yeah, yeah maybe it. that's what he thinks. Like, girls will put these on their tits because they're so big, as if that's what guys want. Pasties that are bigger than a tit. <laughs> like, make your t- stickers like this. I'd make little emoji stickers. There's Stop. a few good ones in here. Yeah. Uh, Zarcasm says Steel Toe is perceived as low hanging fruit and jobbers in the podcast business. We must not be. We're extremely popular. We said we're out, and everyone went, bah, 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 bah. and we went, Well, the party dies when we leave. I guess Sorry. the party died when we left, guys. Like, here's why it's so much cope. If the party's dead because you're left, why are you still talking about the party? It's like you guys left the party and went home to do a podcast about. The party's live stream is like now everyone's making money and getting views off you and you can't participate. You're you're like, we're over here doing a fun show, doing drawings. We don't participate in that. Only you are still participating it by mentioning, but by mentioning it, you're making yourself the heel. You're making yourself the bitch. I'm trying to get into this wrestling lingo you're all into, but you know. You're the bitch. I guess when we left, the party ended. Yeah, that's why none of us are here. <laughs> like, sorry. sorry. And by the way, hang low hanging fruit and jobbers in the podcast business, horseshit. We're e beggars. Big difference. But do your balls hang low? E well, at this age, e beggars doing a comedy show. That's it. Out of the pro wrestling business, as it were. All right, thank you, Phoenix. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, Pro Guns with 20 bucks says banana. Everything's very cool, very fun, very cool. This is how you, like, again, these are like ticks of a liar. Very cool, very fun. We're very fun, very cool. It's like, ooh, ooh. How do we find Soft Weekly? I don't know. I mean, I'm not, he's messaging me on, on an anonymous so, you know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to put you in touch with my sources. So figure it out. He's in, he's in, in the chat room over there at Steel Toe every day fucking with him. Apparently. He's one of the dabblers. People know him. If, you, if you're in the dabbler verse, I guess people know Soft Weekly. Um, red flags everywhere. All the pods he's saying in the party have... At most, 20 to 30 or 8 to 10K. There are not big channels. Right. Right. He talks about this. He says it all the time. He said three or four times in the past couple days, like, 
all these guys are doing wrestling shit, wrestling shit. He said it in one of the DMs to me. I know you're doing pro wrestling shit. I, you play clips of Hulk Hogan. You just had a little fantasy in your head about going down to Florida and hanging out at a bar with Hulk Hogan. You actually box. You're in the ring. You do wrestling shit. I I can't stand wrestling. I don't watch wrestling. I went and watched the last, the, the only wrestling event I've been to in my adult life was uh, uh, Monday Night Raw in Cincinnati once uh, when Chad Ochocinco was there. And I sat there watching everybody around me going nuts when certain guys came out. And I was like, this is, they know it's fake, right? This is retarded. <laughs> like, wrestling is fucking dumb. I don't do wrestling stuff. It's bad enough Chad Zumok doesn't know the difference between a work and a shoot. <laughs> like, I know it because I grew up in Tampa, Florida. I grew up, I'm a Bubba the Love Sponge guy. I knew Hogan. I knew Bubba. Like, you know, that's as tangential as I get to the wrestling world. I know Mark, shoot, work, kayfabe. You know, I know the words, but I don't use them. I've used them more in this past week than ever. Chad Zumach doesn't know the difference between a work and a shoot. He'll be like, I fucking hate you right now, and I'm dead serious. This is not a shoot. <laughs> it's like, even I know that's wrong. He, Aaron's the kind of guy who wrestles with his sexuality. Aaron has done a wrestling match as well as a boxing match. Oh, okay. Aaron's constitutionally incapable of... Of honesty and accountability. Wrestling fandom could get us could get us a Tommy NC steel toe crossover. Heel turn. Cringe. I don't even know what a heel turn is. I, I, I a heel is a guy who everyone like beats up on and bullies, right? Like a punching bag. A heel is a punching bag. And a heel turn is when I imagine the the guy the underdog becomes the hero just from the phrasing wrestling fan oh uh, sorry I already read that so that's everything I know about wrestling heel is a bad guy face is a good guy heel is a bad guy baby face is the good guy baby face this is this is gay I mean, imagine men, heel turn means you run away. Oh, it's been a long time. It, I've seen every cock on the planet. <laughs> it's been. Uh, okay. If you guys say so, like, so Aaron does this thing there, but I know everybody's doing wrestling stuff. It's like, I, I'm not doing wrestling stuff. I'm not doing wrestling stuff. I'm not a dangerous guy. I'm not going to show up at your door. I'm not a threat to your wife or your children or your family. I did take a cheap shot with that April forehead video. Go check it out. That's for clicks. I think April's very attractive. She's lovely. I think Aaron's a nice guy. They do a good show, but they, they're lost and they don't know who they are. They're also breaking a lot of rules. Maybe this lottery stuff they don't fucking know. But I think they know because they're already defending it. They know what's coming. And this is just one of eight nights that we've gone over stuff. So the more you keep talk, I, I've been on the case a week, and I've cracked open more than anyone else. Again, Chad Zumach, you've been fucking with for five months, and now you're like, we've had enough. A week of Melton, and you're like, uh, he's trying to get on the show. Proven that false. Uh, he's just mad and unstable and mentally ill. Okay. Oh, we're not breaking any laws. We've looked into the YouTube guidelines. Breaking YouTube guidelines and breaking laws. Shall we go on? Tell me what else you guys have nailed down. Everything about your operation looks like a shanty town. I've seen FEMA set up better podcast studios. And the stickers are metal as fuck. Well, these are, I mean, these aren't. Our stickers are metal as fuck. Imagine more logos, more logos. Why are these boots off and untied? And why is this boot kicking sparks? 
And have you guys seen how easy it is to find their logo? Uh, combat boot clip art. <laughs> Look how easy this is. Boom. Look familiar? <laughs> See these boots in every thumbnail? And the boots down here at the bottom of a live? These, I mean, Those these are. are hey, go steal it right here. It's what they did. And then you didn't even have to click on images. But if you go to images, there's your boots. There's your steel toe boots. Yeah. Can we find the other one? You think it's clip art? It's got to be one boot for the other one, right? Boot clip art. Stop it if you see it. We're looking for the steel toe with the hole in it. That's the one, the one for their main banner. B uh, boot. <laughs> Boot hole. I guess clip art. It's got to be shitty. We need to tell the algorithm it has to be garbage. It's definitely got to be in here. There's no way they have a custom graphic. Steel toe boots with hole. Is that it? Steel toe boot with hole. But it's got to be clip art. <laughs> Drawing. Oh, I'm gonna find the boot. We're gonna find the boot. Where is my boot? Where is my boot? Where is my boot? It was under boot clip art. You passed it? Where? On this page or on a different page? Be more specific. Boot clip art. Hold on. Boot clip art. If I see a boot with a hole, I saw it go up. That's not it. These are one, but they have different ones. They have... Uh, the one with the hole on the banner. Oh my God. I got to find it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's got to be in here. It's almost like that. Um... Hold on one second. Let me go to this. I know you guys are like, what's going on? I got to find it. I got to find it. I got to find it. I'm going to get it now. I got to find it. Um, it's kicking or stomping. Maybe try stomping. Boot stomping hole. It's got to be a drawing. Steel toe. Fuck. 
Patrick, you have OCD. You're goddamn right. The main reason is, um, hold on. I think I got it. No. Fuck. You get it. His whole thing sucks. <laughs> um... God damn. I really thought it would be easier. They're throwing me off here. Maybe it's not clip art. Steel toe warm up show. No, 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 no. Fuck. Boot hole toe. Um. Ah! Ah! Found it. Is that it with the caterpillar? Uh, I can't. I'm not going to be able to sleep until I find this. Look, how much money to keep going into their live stream? It's 90 minutes. 20 bucks. $5,800. 7000 Thirty-two dollars and forty-nine cents. All right, we'll keep going. Um, bananas. these are bananas. Why won't you eat one for the people? But these are uh, stickers. Thanks, guys. As it were. Uh, uh Jesus. The, if, <clears throat> there we go. If the mods could please put my information in the chat. Good job, Mister Approachable. He's got it. Uh, Stevie J says, dabblers like to troll, but I think they are your friends whether they realize it or not. I mean, they're certainly helping get the word out. I mean, since this whole thing. Yeah. Remember, when these things happen, these people are like, oh, we're going to take them down, this and that. Our subs are up since Friday. My Twitter followers are up since Friday. Cheapest advertising there. Again, again, they're. this is the third time in the show they've gone after it. This is the third time. In 13 minutes, they brought up Chad Zumok, the Dabblers, Patrick Melton, Mentally Ill. They've just, you know, they, they've had enough of it. It's like, then have enough of it and move on. You can't say you've moved on and still never shut up about it. I mean, you can, but you look fucking insane, right? Is. Cheapest advertising there is. <laughs> By the you. way, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Of uh, course. Jesse James says somebody's continuing on con you, counting on you continuing the beef. They need super jet. Believe me, we know. We've talked. We don't need you to be involved in this to keep doing it. It's like these guys are so fucking disingenuous because they'll do the thing where they're like, Chad, hey, Chad. We don't need you to reply, buddy. We love it when you do. It gives us extra content. But we just like watching you be a fucking idiot. And then you guys are like, we're not going to participate. So good luck. I know you're wanting us to participate so that you can get stuff. But good luck. It's like we don't need you to do anything other than pretend to be good for us to find everything wrong with your show. We don't need any help. Do your prize show. And I'll show you everything wrong with it. Do your shows. Yeah, we don't. I mean, no one needs your help looking looking at you like a fucking alien who's landed on our planet and started telling everybody how to podcast because that's just as how much sense it makes. Just as how just as much how how many I mean, fuck. I'll be returning everybody's chats. This is embarrassing. So about this with a couple different people. We know that there's a lot of people in that world relying on us uh, not walking away, but toodles. You're like, no one's relying on you. Do you think, like, I have a, finally, steel toes here. I'll be able to make a mortgage payment. <laughs> like, we're, we're not, nobody's relying on you. Your numbers are falling. 
All your clips this week have less than a thousand views, which is cringe for your channel. When last week you were getting four to five thousand on your on your videos every day. It's over. You walk away, you walk away. The party left with us. It's like, you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that's the reason why? Boys, Sorry, have man. fun in your sandbox. We're going to go find bigger audiences. Uh, let's see. We've got Mark. Where are they? What? In Heath, this is, this is the main thing he's going to fuck around and find out. Like, YouTube audiences aren't going to jump into super chatting you like simps. These are all your local yokels donating 10 to win a $50 gift card to Smokey's Bar and Gravy. <laughs> like, this is shit. These are all like dumb idiots. You think all of YouTube's like this. Like, we're going to grow the crowd and get more super chats. It's like, you're going to grow yourself into a grace. That's what you're going to do. Buck says, if I don't win, I'm deeming it a hate crime. Marquise is um, good for the rest. Yeah, he is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, so people are donating nine ninety nine. Remember he said they had to donate 10 He's like, ah, oh, he's good for the rest. It's like, the penny? The penny. You'll hear it. The first time a guy donates nine ninety nine, they're like, ah, nine ninety nine, and and then April says it. Actually, I think April goes nine ninety nine, and and Aaron goes, give it to him. It's ten. You're asking for ten. Someone gives nine ninety nine. I think that that's the like default donate amount at that level. And it's like, and they're like, yeah, give it to him. Fuck. Do you think he goes, we get seven of that? Or does he go, we get six ninety nine of that? Like, what the fuck? He does sound like Kumia. I give them 18 months before they fold up. 100%. It may be the morphine, but that dude even sounds like Kumia. <laughs> yeah, fucking two people said it at once. They had Keemstar on the show once and thought they had made it. See, I know Keemstar's name. He was the drama alert guy, but I've never... So that's why when they're like, you're just clout chasing the drama. It's like, I don't really do that. I find bad men. And then I wreck them. <laughs> what should I search for, Moody, to find it? Moody found the boot. I found it before. That's how I know it exists. But I couldn't, uh, I couldn't remember what I searched for. But I knew it was easy, so I didn't bother bookmarking it. It's a shutter start stock image. Do you think they paid? Do you think they paid for this? Why won't this let me copy this? It's so annoying. Um I cannot stand how he recites entire movie scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's crazy with the references and stuff, which leads me to believe like he was autistic and alone in college, just laying in bed listening to Opie and Anthony. Oh, what's that movie? I'll check it out. And then trying to do impressions. From it's really sad. Nobody likes onions. Are you friends with Aaron? Get out of my chat. <laughs> uh, throw Marquise. Thanks, buddy. In the drawing. All right, guys. Now I got to go <laughs> fucking st I I get caught up with the YouTube qualifiers for the drawing. Now I got to go over to Streamlabs. And qualifiers. And all that stuff. All right, April. Yes. I've got eccentric. They flipped it and vectorized it. Biden crime family. For I mean, they didn't. It's really bad. You can watch it on their live stream. They, um, it's so aliased. Their, their fucking thing. Even on the banner, when it's clear, you can see, like, Jags, where it's, like, aliased to fuck. So, like, they don't have a high-res version of their logo. <laughs> like, they don't even have it. I just imagine putting that logo on a shirt. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the one. And then, uh, like, this ash around the edge and then a fireball. It's just like, what are we doing? And then the YouTube URL Cool logo. <laughs> and, and 
I've got Jordan A. saying returning part of my mod pay to back the show. He's in. Thanks, buddy. As well. Thanks, buddy. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead. Ron Santos, I agree with you, buddy. Loaded Wrench says, when the stash grows out, don't trim the lip hair. Let it curl into your mouth. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, just like your buddy Corey. Uh, loaded wrench. People who have their lip the hair curl. I haven't shaved in a few days, so if if you catch me outside, people let their like mustache hair curl into their mouth. It's like, ooh. There are people without social mores. There are people who don't know how to be around other people. It's like, what does Corey Adam do for a living? He's a time life operator. Is he doing like? Is he selling Geico or the general in his spare time? He clearly has a job where he works from home. He's like trouble, troubleshoot Uber Eats orders. Wait until Denny gets wind of this and begs them to come on their show and talk shit about you. I don't. Th- I think they fight with Josh Denny. And by the way, Josh Denny's funny. Like I don't. You know, fine. <laughs> I'm glad more people are waking up to all these little grifters on here. It gets a little addicting following these shit shows. Um, it's metal. He said so. <laughs> Bob Levy's stickum shows looked a lot like this in 2007. Yeah, I mean, everyone's dead. This is garbage. This is bad. You called me that today. I did. I, I don't remember why you I did, did call but you, you did by. call me that. You appreciate the female form more than others. I certainly do. I'm just saying. But you're over here saying you're gay well, every day. Well, gay. Yeah, really you gay. never know with us. It's a mystery. Uh, don't say it too much. Who knows? Maybe it just ends up coming true. <laughs> Are you manifesting gay? Man- yeah, I'm manifesting homosexuality. <laughs> He's starting with the nanas next to him. Mark says, hi, I see some of your biggest supporters trashing you in other streams. I guess they do the same to others when they come here. Yeah, it's kind of part of that lame-ass pro wrestling thing, which I don't... Again, it's like this guy covers wrestling news this guy wrestles this guy plays hulk hogan clips this guy goes on fantasies about meeting wrestlers yeah those guys do all the pro wrestling stuff it's like those guys do got it got it got it got it right have a part of Um, if people can, which I don't mind if people can tell the difference between work and shoot. What happened to us is we didn't realize the people we were going here with were mentally ill, psychotic, and willing to go to like levels where we're like, oh no, we don't do. Like again, you know, Chad's done nothing to this man. Nothing. And we saw Aaron's own, like he won't say on the show what he said in those, in those DMs we showed earlier. He won't say what those DMs said, which are, yeah, Chad said he talked to her, and then I had to go to her and be like, did you talk to Chad? And then she was like, no. So the blowback might get to Bob now, and it's just, it's like, nothing you're saying makes sense. What blowback? Who's suing? Yeah, he said, you know, just, you know, bringing ex-wives into this, and we don't want to have to go there. It's like, Somehow Zumok got a copy of their custody agreement, the children's custody agreement, and put it up. And it, he's like, we don't want any blowback to be like, it's your kid's custody agreement. You split custody with your wife. You fucked up in your divorce. You make bad decisions. You're remarried now. Your parents think she's a succubus. You have no relationship with your parents for two years because of what you did to your ex, because of what's going on with your children, and because of your current wife. That's just what it is, it seems, allegedly. So, we didn't know that these people were mentally psychotic and they were going to comment on the things in my life. It's like, you didn't? You made fun of Stuttering John's trans kid. You called him a bad parent, and you said his bad parenting probably contributed to his child becoming trans, as if that's a punishment. 
You make racial jokes all day, every day. You went on to Kumia and did the hardest pandering I've ever seen. That Kumia special, Steel Toe Shine Box Volume 4, check it out. I put it up. Is one of the most cringe things ever put on the internet in the Kumia verse. How Eric Nagel is still sucking your dick is beyond me. Then again, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. So I guess that explains that. The Wild and Crazy show isn't psychotic enough to call someone a bad father. They are wild and nuts, but not, but not that nuts. Right. Aaron also has a WWE rec replica championship belt he shows off. Monthly fraud on Steel Toe is a big blow to him. Fraud, IRS, audit, Steel Toe. Yeah, I mean, when you get these... Uh, I mean, the laws change now, so if, if he makes over 600 bucks on anything, he'll get dinged. But you used to be able to make 20000 on PayPal, 20000 on Streamlabs, 20000 on YouTube, and you wouldn't have to report any of it to the IRS. 20000 in every place you could make, and they wouldn't send in a, a, a paperwork to the IRS with what you made. Now if you make 600 they do it. So things will change on the tax front. Let's have fun, E-Rock Army. Imagine. What did Aaron do to his ex-wife, genuinely asking? I guess he cheated on her. While, while he was fucking other people, he also went back and fucked his wife and knocked her up. And then divorced her. And then married April and then started uh, doing this with his arms so that he looks like a chicken. <laughs> do that here. I think we'll be uh, checking yeah. people out. For further notice. Yeah, we're just kind of like, we don't do that over at Steel Toe. So we're going to, no no offense. I mean, if, if that's how angry and upset and crazy you get. So that's what they do. They paint everybody as like, well, Patrick's so angry that he's calling us fraudsters. It's like, have I screamed here tonight? Don't answer that. I think the only blowback would come to Aaron, but he's just blaming everyone else. Yeah, I mean, honestly, their chemistry in this show looks fine. They look like they're getting along. They look like they're having, dare I say, fun. But um, I don't know. You know. Who knows behind the scenes? Again, they could have had a big fight and fucked, and now everything's good for a while. These things will unravel. You, He's so new to this. He's eight months you could have the strongest relationship. These things will come between you and your spouse when you do a program together. Again, look no farther than Morning Joe. It's really hard. It's really hard. And they've committed to an aggressive, aggressive schedule. Do you have Google Drive? I have the MLC show where Aaron tells uh, the story of his ex. Yeah, sure. Send it to my Google Drive. Uh, me at patrickmelton.com or just send me a link on any of the socials. Okay? Thanks. That you have to go to those levels? I'm just going to go ahead and walk away. And how Again, he won't say what the levels are. He just goes, ex-wife and kid stuff. Ah. It's like, again, you rip people to shreds. You go after everyone. We'll probably watch that tomorrow. I, I gotta get up in the. I gotta go to the airport in the morning. Don't worry about it. And then when I get back, I gotta go uh, rush home and get to uh, to do the sit down Zoomock podcast. So I'm probably not gonna be on here much longer. The sit down Zoomock podcast is in 12 hours. So I got I gotta get three or four hours of sleep tonight. I got three or four hours last night. I was up editing those two videos, and uh, more will be up. So, again, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll do more. There will be more. But I gave you guys some bombshells tonight. We uncovered everything Aaron is doing on the prize show. We're, we're, we're going to keep watching a little bit. And, look, if you guys, if we reach the goal, we'll do overtime. If we can make 100 bucks in the next 20 minutes, we'll go to overtime, and I'll never sleep again. Okay? And you'll get a sticker. You guys like stickers? We got some NLO stickers. We'll be sending these out to the crew. I even got some different ones, some round ones. We got a lot of stickers. You guys are into stickers. Sorry they're not bigger. All of our tire size went, went, went first. You know, popular that is. 
Ah, uh, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, do join the overdose. Nobody likes onions.com slash overdose. It's 10 bucks a month. You get access to our entire back catalog to 2005, thousands of hours of content. I've been doing this a long time. Everything from shocking penises to Nutella blackface. I've done it all. It's all in the overdose. Check it out. 10 bucks a month. It all comes to me. I keep it all. It's to support the show. And you get access to stuff. RSS feeds for both the podcast and all the bonus stuff. So if you wanted to listen to this as audio only, you can. Uh, join the YouTube membership. We're going to hit our goals. <laughs> I hate plugging, but I do have to plug a little bit. Like the video. Subscribe to the video. If we can get it to 70 likes, $50. Or we could do, let's get it to 65 likes, $75. Any combination of the two earns you two... You get two free stickers, and you'll be entered into a drawing at the end of the month where we give everyone a cream pie. The sexual um, move. Okay? Well, once you walk away, once we decide, oh, oh my hey, God. guys, this isn't really for us. This isn't, isn't what the go, show's about. They it's go just, insane. Their brains break. Their brains break. I don't know break, what happens. And they go insane. Jesus Christ, Patrick, how do you do it? Your schedule's insane? No, it's not. He us for content. He wants us to keep doing it. Sorry, buddy. I thought that was a friend, oh, too. Pff, no, he's into the pro wrestling You know what? Stuff, None though. of you are friends. Uh, fuck you, dude, with 20 bucks says, could you do like a two-inch sticker for hard hats and toolboxes and stuff? I would buy so many. If they were that size, you can. Can you do a two-inch sticker for hard hats and toolboxes and stuff? You know, a sticker big enough to put on things. Look, don't get me wrong. I love the ones you guys made for hoods of cars. But what about just like one for people to put on things that they own? <laughs> Message me, and we can get that ordered for you if you're willing to pay for it. I mean, we yeah. We'll Whole. Lee, shit. They pretend they're a big show. This is what he just said. Yeah, if you want two-inch stickers, I can get them ordered for you if you're willing to pay for them. It's like, are you guys ordering little little orders of stickers? Do you order 10 stickers at a time? Are they ordering stickers from, like, some shitty... I'm I'm fascinated by their whole merch process. That They show pictures of their merch with, like, the things not ironed on, just laying on the sweatshirt. It's like, who wants this shit? Did April iron this one good? Look into it for sure. We can make anything. KYP says they got shut down. No more content. Know- they go. We'd like. We'd like some two inch stickers. And she goes. We can make anything if you're willing to pay for it. I'd like a. a I don't know. I'd like a chopper gas tank. <laughs> well, they miss us so much. Uh, I'd rather cope without them than be miserable with content with them. That's that's a great point, Lemmy. Uh, so now one of their loyal fans says, I'd rather just cope and not have all that drama than have content with the drama. It's like, so are you admitting that you don't have content? What's going on? Because when you went on Anthony Cumia's show for your big shot to shoot your load, you did three-year-old news stories, two-year-old news stories. They covered the Joe Rogan Spotify deal from 2019 as if it just happened. They were like, you know, Joe Rogan got that big deal over at Spotify. He's making good money. It's like, this is your Kumia special? Kumia can't even copyright strike me for it. He's like, it'd be embarrassing. He's right about everything. (laughs) Like, if we copyright struck him for four-year-old news, we'd look insane. Steel toe being racist as fuck. Again, this is a public service. I'm just warning the public about a man who's crazy. But yeah, win by two, probably not the best guy to say that, seeing as your whole thing is kind of like following us around and waiting for us to do something. Eh, you know what I say, win by two radio, sit back, enjoy the show. You'll learn something. All right, let's imagine the narcissism. And good, we are. April, we're all caught up. Sit back and watch the show. You'll learn something. How to break federal laws giving away money. How to put up a banner backdrop that looks like dog shit. How to make merch that you iron on yourself. How to make stickers that could suffocate most animals. How to beg for money two hours out of a four-hour show. I have a four-hour show breakdown coming for you that's going to show you and a pie chart's a great way to do this 
How much time Aaron spends doing what on shows? And I'm going to break down three shows from three different months chosen at random. I'm going to comb through them all. I have nothing but time and a dog that doesn't need much attention and a wife that left me. And I'd like you to see how just how much time he spends begging. Because I think you'll be alarmed. I think he would be alarmed. I, I think I think it's so natural he doesn't even realize how much he does it. I'd like to qualify for some stickers and old VHS tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Divide memberships by the number of episodes. Right, then subtract your birth date to find out how much you want. I think the MLC with Steel Toe is on MLC podcast channel. It's, in, it's titled Let Chad In. Yeah, we can't get to it tonight. I do have to roll out of here tonight. We're going to be going very, 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 very soon. We'll watch a little bit more of this. But you guys have had over four and a half hours again. We didn't go private. We didn't go members only. Again, please just subscribe. That's all I care about. And everybody who did do Super Chats and give some money tonight, Adon Kashen. Really appreciate it. Because it takes a lot to build pie charts and we don't have a big... Congratulations. How many? What are we 28. at? 28 people are in the VIP slash $250 drawing this evening. Thank you very, very much. What are you thanking them for? That you can enter for free. You shouldn't have to thank people who are in a drawing because it, by law, has to be free to enter. Uh, I, we, we had uh, a little uh, hiccup with uh, a couple people on YouTube today. Our buddies at the uh, BYB podcast, I like those guys. Wait, we'll see when they turn on us. No, I'm just kidding. I love Steve. I, I really do. I like Steve. I'm hesitant to say I like anyone. I like Brandon. I like I like a guy who goes, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, we were right. The, what was it? God, what does he call himself? The quarter Quarter pounder. Quarter? No, what the fuck is his know. name? I the guy no who idea. runs the BYB podcast. I, I feel know. like a piece of shit. Uh, but anyway. They're all very nice fellows. They got uh, they got suspended for seven days. The quad father, that's what it is. What did I say? I don't know. I call- Again, this guy did 13 minutes on both Chad and me pretending like you don't know people's names. It's like, do a little show prep. Am I right? Do a little show prep. We do a real pro show over here. We prep. I've never seen you do any. You, you do one story every hour. The rest is riffing. Every once in a while, there's a little bit of gold. You usually milk it too much and run it into the ground. <laughs> BYB podcast is pure shit. Couldn't, couldn't tell you. I will tell you this. Uh, it's time to get out of here. We got to get out of here. Uh, thank you so much. But you guys couldn't get us to 60 likes. So we are out of here. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like. Hit the bell. N-L-O on Twitter. Three letters. So that's not hard to type in. Follow us on Twitter. N-L Onions on Instagram. Uh, I just do stories, mostly pictures of, like, weird things I see on my dick. Oh, now we're at 60 likes. Now we're at 60 likes. Now you guys want to be friends? Now? Okay. No, 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 no. It's after three. I got to get to bed. You've had four and a half hours of content. This will be up as soon as I uh, can make sure... Um, you know, Wojcicki doesn't copyright strike it. Shouldn't be a problem. And again, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys. Prize night at the end of March, Aaron M. Holt, April M. Holt, Steel Toe, Steel Toe Morning Show. They're going to. Be giving away a bunch of prizes again. Totally legal. They've checked. 
the uh, regulations at YouTube. They don't abide by any of them, but they've checked them. So it should be no problem. You should have no legal problems um, just completely giving away money and running your own lottery. I wouldn't worry about it at all. I'm sure you guys have done the legal research, the background work, and you definitely have the safety net up and the guardrails in place to make sure that all your bases are covered. I believe that. There's nothing about your operation that leads me to believe you half-ass things and grift your listeners. The studio looks top-notch. The website looks top-notch. You've definitely dotted your I's. You've definitely crossed your T's. It all looks great. So I doubt there's any chance that next next uh, <laughs> the next month's drawing will be on a scheduled. Because if you don't do a drawing next month, uh, it'll look like we were right, and you might not have your legal stuff um, situated. But that could actually spin you into a whole nother set of problems because you promised three hundred members that they would. Be in a drawing every month. And your VIPs that they would be in a drawing every month. But then you can't have the drawing because the drawing is illegal, which would make the contract that you entered into an agreement with, with your 300 members and all your VIP members would also be illegal. And you'd probably be liable for not fulfilling that contract. It's a lot. That's a lot of liability, Doc. But again, I'm sure you guys have lawyers and you have it all figured out. I'm not worried about it. I'm sure you guys will handle it all like pros. It's so good, 